everybody, welcome back to The Stuff of Legend. My name is D'Lo and I'm your host. I'm going to be taking you guys through an epic video today. It's going to be fantastic. You guys are going to really like this fan casting, I know it, because it's not just me. It's going to be me presenting to you guys a massive collaboration of fan casters from Instagram, all over Instagram and a couple of other guys like myself who do have YouTube channels and we, we talk about nerd stuff, nerd culture. We're going to be doing the fan casting summit number three. And the topic of this one is the DCEU bat family, very specific to the DCEU talking about justice league. Batman vs. Superman, Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman. We're talking about Aquaman. We're talking about Shazam. That universe, the movie universe that we've all uh, come to like, love, uh, some of you guys hate. <laughs> I understand. It's a very complex situation. But they are turning the tides and it is becoming a very wonderful franchise to be a part of. I am really excited for today's fan casting summit because we are going to be talking about one of the most famous, most popular, most liked superhero and superhero families of all time, Batman. We're talking about the Bat. We're talking about Bruce Wayne. Oh yeah. Buckle up. Again, get your popcorn, get your sodas, get your water, get whatever you need to do. Pause this video, take a bathroom break real quick because we're about to get into this fan casting summit. It's going to be legit. Now, how I want you to participate is to be active down in the comments. If you haven't made a comment on YouTube before, what you do is you scroll all the way to the bottom of this video and there will be a section for comments down there. You're going to let me know who you like the best for these roles. We're going to be talking about seven roles. We're talking about DCEU Batman to replace Ben Affleck, who has recently been confirmed to have stepped down. He did that publicly, um, so we know that's accurate. We're talking about Nightwing. Dick Grayson, we're talking about Batgirl, Barbara Gordon, we're talking about Red Hood, Jason Todd, we're talking about Tim Drake, Red Robin, we're talking about Damian Wayne Robin, and we're also talking about the young Batman from Matt Reeves' Batman, which is in his 20s. So there's a, a wide range of characters we're going to be casting for this one. Let's not waste too much time. Let's go ahead and jump right into this thing. Let's begin. So first up, fan casting summit number three. We're going to be fan casting the DCEU Bat Family. So let's get moving. First up is Dream Fan Cast. So that's Dream underscore Fan Cast. Check him out on Instagram while you're watching this video. We're going to take a look at his first picks for uh, Dream Fan Cast has for Bruce Wayne, older Batman. First up is Jake Gyllenhaal from Southpaw, Spider Man Far From Home. And uh, we also have Michael Fassbender from Assassin's Creed and X Men Dark Phoenix. The Fox franchise is closed now. And uh, the last films to come out for the fro from Fox's X Men are going to be X Men Dark Phoenix and the separate New Mutants. Um, those will be the final ones, and then they will be reconstituted in the MCU with reboots, new actors, which means Fastbender will be available. I like both of these actors. I think Jake Gyllenhaal would be perfect for this role, but I also think that Fastbender would be as well. These are both solid choices. So Dick Grayson, Nightwing, actor uh, number one is Harry Styles from Dunkirk and One Direction, This Is Us. Not a big resume, this guy, um, but nevertheless, he did a good job in Dunkirk. And if you're gonna cut your chops, that's the way to go is in a Christopher Nolan film, uh, who is also notorious for making some of the best Batman films of all time. Then there's also Aaron Taylor Johnson from Godzilla 2014 and Avengers Age of Ultron. I think that both of these guys are really good for this role. Now, uh, I would probably still pick Aaron Taylor Johnson because of his, we know him, we, we know his history, we know that he has proved himself over time to be a very talented actor. He looks the part, he's physically fit for the role. I think he would be the best choice out of the two of these, but I do like Harry Styles, I think it's a very unique choice. Next up, Barbara Gordon, Batgirl. We have Haley Steinfeld from Pitch Perfect 2, Bumblebee, and we also have Emma Stone from La La Land and The Amazing Spider-Man. Now, if I was to pick between the two of these, I think I would go with Emma Stone. Um, I like Haley Steinfeld a lot, but I think that Emma Stone is probably better suited for the role um, based on appearance. Um, both of them acting wise, they're very, very, very talented, but I would probably go Emma Stone personally. You guys let me know if you guys disagree down in the comments below. So then also, Jason Todd, Dylan O'Brien, oh dude, he's so good. Bumblebee, again, an American assassin, and then Taron Egerton, Kingsman, and Robin Hood. Now this one, this one tears me up because 
I think Dylan O'Brien would do an amazing job in this role, but I personally prefer him for the role of Nightwing. So I would probably pick Taron Egerton because he's literally perfect for this role. Um, and I think he would do a great job. So Taron Egerton is my pick here, but Dylan O'Brien would also, I know he'd crush it. I just want to see him play Nightwing. So that's probably why I'm going leaning directly into Taron Egerton for this one. You guys tell me what you think down below. Also, Tim Drake, Robin, Tom Holland, Spider-Man Far From Home, Avengers Endgame. And we also have Logan Lerman from Fury, Percy Jackson series. Now I have uh, Logan Lerman listed on my list for Tim Drake. And Tom Holland, I think is a great choice. I think uh, I overlooked him because he's in, he's with Marvel, he's in Spider-Man, he's ongoing, probably not likely for DCEU. However, if he could get into the DCEU, I think he, yeah, he would be a fantastic choice for uh, Tim Drake. Both of them could play very critical thinkers, analytical, um, detectives, master detectives. Um, both of them don't have to be jacked to play the role of Tim Drake. That's not his thing. Uh, you got to be fit, of course, but both of them are. And so I think they would both be really good choices. You guys tell me who you think. I think I'm going Logan Lerman on this one. Next, we have Damian Wayne Robin. We have Aiden Gallagher from the Umbrella Academy, which was sick. If you haven't seen that, you've got to check it out. It was amazing, amazing. And then also Tenzing Norgay Trainer. Um, from Liv and Maddie and Night Squad, I think uh, is also really, really good. Both of them look the part. It, between the two of these guys, I'd be, just because I haven't seen much of Tenzing uh, acting yet, I'd probably go with Aiden Gallagher. I think he's great and Boss Logic did a fantastic art for this character as uh, Damian Wayne. I think it'd be, I think he's on fire. I think he'd be great. And he basically played the same role in the Umbrella Academy. Very sassy, feisty, young character that's just taking charge doesn't take orders well i think he's the guy next up we have bruce wayne young batman from the matt reeves batman where he'll be in his 20s it's a younger version of batman in the past so we have nicholas holt x-men dark phoenix and mad max fury road and then we also have miles teller fan four stick and war dogs both these guys are really good i really like these choices if I was going to pick between the two of them, though, I think I'm probably going with Nicholas Holt. You guys tell me who you think should have this role. So now let's take a look at the teams. So comparing team one and team two, team one, we have Jake Gyllenhaal, Harry Styles, Haley Steinfeld, Dylan O'Brien, Tom Holland, Aiden Gallagher, and Nicholas Holt. And then for team two, we have Michael Fassbender, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Emma Stone, Taryn Egerton, Logan Lerman, Tenzing Norgay Trainer, and Miles Teller. Gosh, man, between the two of these, oh, it's such a tough call. Um, you know what? I think I'm going team two on this one, but it's close. It's really close. So I like I like both of these. Team two is my pick. So you guys, who do you think should be the team from Dream Fancast? Let's keep moving. Next up, Fancast 76. Thank you for joining the Fancasting Summit. I love the picture, by the way. It's pretty sick. Flash and Nightwing there. So we have Michael Fassbender for older Batman from X-Men Dark Phoenix and Assassin's Creed. And then we also have Brett Dalton from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Killing Lincoln. Now, you know, this one caught me by surprise because I didn't personally think of him uh, for Batman. But Brett Dalton as Batman is awesome. Brett Dalton would play an amazing Batman. He's got the look. Um, he's already got he's got the hair. Um, he plays a savage in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I really like this guy and I think he would be uh, even, you know, Michael Fassbender, one of the best out there right now. However, I think I would take Brett Dalton over Michael Fassbender um, because of the aesthetic look. He looks like Batman. And I think that would, it would be very uh, easy for me to see him in that role. I would like to see that. So Brett Dalton, I think gets the underdog choice from me. Let me know if you guys think I'm absolutely nuts. Next up, we have Dick Grayson, Nightwing, Dylan O'Brien, Maze Runner, and American Assassin, and Brenton Thwaites, The Giver, and Titans. He's currently on the DC Universe streaming service as Dick Grayson, Nightwing. Well, he's not Nightwing yet, but he's going to be Nightwing on Titans. Probably in season two, we'll see that transformation happen. But um, I will say he's doing an excellent job. If you were to draft him into the DCEU, I would not have a problem with that, but he's not in the DCEU. So Dylan O'Brien being one of my top picks for this role, I'm definitely gonna go Dylan O'Brien with this, but not because Brenton Thwaites isn't a good Nightwing. He's doing a fantastic job right now on Titans. So check that out if you haven't seen it. Uh, subscribe to the DC Universe streaming service. I think it's like seven bucks or something, it's not bad. And it's really good content, it's really cool. They're always up uploading new stuff. Next up, 
Barbara Gordon, Batgirl, Cat McNamara, uh, Shadowhunters, and Maze Runner, and then also Anna Kendrick from Pitch Perfect and The Accountant. I really like both of these. Actually, I these two are my top two picks for myself. This isn't my casting, but this is you know the the same actresses that I had selected. I like both of these a lot. Now. If you were gonna go uh, more along the lines of Oracle, like in the wheelchair, I would say Anna Kendrick, not because she's not athletic, but I just think that she could play more of that analytic type on the earpiece, probably a little bit better than Cat would. Cat has a better like on screen, in your face type of presence. Um, both of them very pretty, but I think Cat McNamara looks a little bit more like Batgirl and uh, Anna Kendrick would probably be really good in the chair, in the earpiece, and that kind of stuff. I don't know, that's my personal take, that's my opinion, but I'm gonna go with Kat McNamara on this one, even though Anna is amazing. So next up, Jason Todd, Red Hood. Uh, Taron Egerton, we have Robin Hood and Kingsman, and then we also have Stephen R. McQueen um, from Piranha 3D and Chicago Fire. Stephen R. McQueen campaigned for the role of, of Nightwing before Brenton Thwaites got it on Titans. Um, he didn't get the role. We already know that because um, Titans is already out and Brenton Thwaites has got the role. But it would be really cool to see him play Red Hood here. I'm still going with Taron Egerton on this one. But I think Stephen R. McQueen would be a really good Nightwing. And he would be a good Red Hood. I would like to see that. Um, but I think I'm going to take Taron on this one. Next up, we got Tim Drake, uh, Red Robin. Actor number one is Ryan Potter. Uh, and uh, from big from Titans and Big Hero 6 and then Logan Lerman is actor number two from Fury and Percy Jackson series now I like Logan Lerman. I think he would be really good as Tim Drake um, I think he would be fantastic some people were casting him as Iceman in a previous fan casting summit And I didn't see that because he's not really funny. He's a little bit dry though, and I think that he would be really good as um, more of a critical thinker someone a more serious type a little bit a little bit of brooding going on I think that Tim Drake would be his role now that being said Ryan Potter campaigned for this role back when uh, Batman versus Superman was coming out and Ryan Potter did a show reel of him as Tim Drake you can check that out on YouTube um, and he was basically saying hey um, Ben Affleck I want to be your Robin uh, take me and he did this awesome epic fight scene where he's doing all his own martial arts and stunts and stuff It was really cool really like that um, And uh, he's currently as Beast Boy on Titans, so he is not in the DCEU He could be in the DCU as a separate role. I think it would still work I think it'd be great and I would love to see Ryan Potter. So between the two of these I don't know dude. It's close I think I'm gonna go Logan Lerman just because Ryan Potter is doing a good job on Titans I would hate to see that stop, but yeah, that's basically my rationale. Let me know what you think Next up, we have Damian Wayne, Robin, Aiden Gallagher, The Umbrella Academy, and David Mazuz. So he is from Gotham. If you guys have seen Gotham, it's a show about what's happening in the city of Gotham, Batman City, before he became Batman. So he's a youth. He's a he's a teenager, and he has he's living with Alfred. His parents are now dead, and he is trying to figure out his life. He's trying to he's doing a lot of research. And you're basically following Jim Gordon on one end of the story. You're following the villains of Gotham on another. And then you're also following kind of David Mazus and Alfred, uh, kind of more in the background. They kind of take a backseat a little bit. But nevertheless, I think that David Mazus would do a really good job as um, not just Bruce Wayne, which he plays on Gotham, but as Damian Wayne, he would do a nice job. Now, that being said, Aiden Gallagher is the GOAT. I think Aiden Gallagher has got a bright future ahead of him, especially after Umbrella Academy, and he is totally Damian Wayne. He deserves that role. So that's my pick there. I think that David Mazus is good. Aiden Gallagher is great. Let me know if I'm wrong. Next up, Bruce Wayne, younger Batman, Army Hammer from The, Ma uh, the Man From Uncle and Mine, uh, which was an amazing movie on Netflix. And then uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Avengers, Age of Ultron, and Godzilla 2014. Now, um, Army Hammer is a little bit older for someone who's going to be playing a Batman in their 20s, which will make it very difficult for him to convey that accurately. But I would love to see an Army Hammer Batman. Uh, he's one of those actors that you can just say his name and everyone's like, yeah, please make him Batman. Um, Aaron Taylor Johnson, on the other hand, is within that ballpark of age range. I think he's like 28 or 29 or something like that. 
and uh, he would be he would be fantastic. I think Aaron Taylor Johnson is probably going to get my vote because that's most realistic for a DCEU young Batman, or rather Matt Reeves Batman. Uh, Army Hammer has not been approached by Warner Brothers or Matt Reeves yet about the role. Uh, those rumors were false, but I would like to see him get the role. If he does get approached, I would love that. So I don't know, dude, it's tough. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go with Army Hammer. I'm going to say Army Hammer. Let's go with Army Hammer. So next up, let's check out the teams. Uh, team one, Michael Fassbender, Dylan O'Brien, Catherine McNamara, Taryn Egerton, Ryan Potter, Aiden Gallagher, Army Hammer. Next team, we have Brett Dalton, Bretton Thwaites, Anna Kendrick, Stephen R. McQueen, Logan Lerman, David Mazouz, and Aaron Taylor Johnson. Now, as much as I love team two, I'm going to go with team one. Fassbender, Dylan O'Brien, Kat McNamara, Taryn Egerton, Ryan Potter, Aiden Gallagher, Army Hammer. Every single one of those was a win, and I'm going to I'm gonna go with team one. Let me know what you guys want. Uh, team one or team two from fancast underscore 76. Great choices. Um, Nerds United, welcome back. This For you guys who are going to follow them on Instagram, it's underscore nerds with a Z dot united underscore. So check him out. Let's check out his picks. Bradley Cooper, Avengers Endgame and American Sniper. And Sam Witwer from Smallville and Solo, A Star Wars Story. Holy cow. Um, he's also in Supergirl, but I don't like to count that because they, they Supergirl is kind of like, a, a, I don't know. I got my own opinions about that, whatever. So Sam Witwer um, and Bradley Cooper for older Batman. I am, I love Bradley Cooper, but without a doubt, I am going Sam Witwer. Look at that guy's chin, dude. He has got the face for Batman and he's an incredibly talented vocal actor. He played in the Clone Wars. He did um, Palpatine for a time. Uh, he did, you know, Emperor Palpatine. He did uh, Darth Maul. And um, he did a couple of, I think he did a couple of other bonus voices, like just like to fill in or something like that. But he's incredible. The guy is amazing. Um, and I would love to see him play uh, an older Batman. Next on the list, we've got Dick Grayson, Nightwing. We have Miles Teller from Divergent and War Dogs and Luke Kleintank from Bones and Max. Now I will say, Luke Kleintank definitely looks more like Nightwing, but I haven't seen him in much. I didn't see Max. I didn't see Bones. Um, I haven't. I don't. I don't. I don't even know if I've seen him really act. I've seen him in images, but nothing more. So, I, because of ignorance, because of my my not having followed any of his films or anything like that or his TV, I'm going Miles Teller. But you guys should let me know if I'm totally missing out and he deserves that that role. Next up, Barbara Gordon, Batgirl. We have Carly Chaikin from Mr. Robot and The Last Song, and then Alicia uh, Debnam Carey, if that's how you say it, Friend Request, and The 100. Between the two of these, I actually don't think that either of these girls look like Batgirl, really. But between the two of them, I would go Alicia Debnam Carey. Um, I liked her in The 100. Um, I thought that it was, it was good. I didn't think her performance was great, but I think that she looks a little bit more the, the part, and I think that's probably what's going to take the cake for me is appearance. So let's go with that uh, for this one. Uh, and The 100 is a great show. So then Jason Todd, Red Hood. Actor number one is Shia LaBeouf from Transformers and Fury. And then we have actor number two is Garrett Hedlund, Pan, and Tron Legacy. I really like both of these guys. Now, Garrett Hedlund, amazing. The guy's amazing. And he would do a good job with Red Hood. But without a doubt, I'm going Shia LaBeouf for Red Hood. And you guys might think I'm crazy, but he's crazy. And that's what you need to play a Red Hood is crazy. You need freaking out of your mind, crazy, rageaholic. You need someone with a absolutely shattered soul. You need brokenness. And he can do that. Shia LaBeouf can freaking do that. I would love to see uh, Shia LaBeouf play Red Hood. That's my pick there. Let me know what you guys think. All right, next, we have Tim Drake, Red Robin, uh, Chandler Riggs, The Walking Dead, Mercy, Timothy Chalamet, Interstellar, Beautiful Boy. Between the two of these guys, for uh, Tim Drake, I think looks-wise, I would go with Chandler Riggs. And I think that he would be able to do the role uh, very nicely. Timothy Chalamet is an amazing actor. I don't think he looks the part. Um, his face is very, very like narrow. And I don't, I don't, it, to me that it doesn't look like Tim Drake. He could do the role for sure. I don't think he looks the part. I think Chandler Riggs has that look. He cut his hair though and dye it black. But I think he's got more of that look. So I'm going Chandler Riggs on this one. All right, next up. 
Sunny, uh, Damian Wayne. We have Sunny Suljic, the house with the clock in its walls, and mid 90s. And then Aiden Gallagher, the Umbrella Academy, Nikki, Ricky, Dicky, and Dawn. Um, now, if you're going to go really, really young, I would say Sunny Suljic. But if you're going to go a little closer to like teenage, you know, like a little more spunky, you know, I'm cussing a little bit, you know, uh, Aiden Gallagher is your guy. I'm definitely going Aiden Gallagher here. Uh, next up, we have Bruce Wayne, Young Batman for the Matt Reeves Batman, Robert Pattinson from the Twilight Saga and Harry Potter, The Goblet of Fire, and Jonathan Groff, Mindhunter and Frozen. Now, what I'll say is this. I think that um, Robert Pattinson has the acting ability to play Batman, and he's got uh, he's got kind of that like sharp features kind of look to him, but I'm going to probably also say that Jonathan Groff overall looks more like Bruce Wayne. So, I don't know, dude. <sighs> Acting ability, I'd say they're both pretty much on par. I don't care if you don't like Twilight. I didn't see Twilight, but you see some of his other work, like Harry Potter, and he's a, he's a good actor. Like, he can convince you that he is the creep. He can convince you that he is the vampire. He can convince you that he is um, just a normal dude in a, in a relationship or whatever. Uh, he can play those guys. He can play anything. He's really talented. But I think I might go Jonathan Groff here just because he looks way more like Batman. So that's my take there. All right, now we come down to the list of, of uh, teams. Team one, we have Bradley Cooper, Miles Teller, Char uh, Charlie Kagan, Carly Chaken, <laughs> Shia LaBeouf, Chandler Riggs, Sonny Suljic, and Robert Pattinson. So then we have... In team two, Sam Witwer, Luke Kleintank, Alicia Debnam Carey, Garrett Hedlund, Timothy Chalamet, Aiden Gallagher, and Jonathan Groff. Now, this one surprised me because at the end of the day, I think I'm gonna ah, this one's tough because for me it's like both the top guys are good, uh, both the night wings are good. I like I like Alicia Debnam on the right, I like Shia LaBeouf more on the left, but both of them are good. Then I like uh, Chandler more, um, and then Aiden by far more. And then either one for the bottom for me. It's like, it's tough. I think I'm going to choose. Shoot, man. Uh, I'm going to choose team two because Sam Witwer and uh, and uh, Garrett Hedlund and Aiden Gallagher and John Groff. That's why I'm picking them. So you guys let me know what you guys think. This, this team was tough. This is a good balance. Way to go, nerds. United. Good job. All right. Next up, we have Devil of Fancasts. That's D3Ville of Fancasts. No spaces, no underscores. Um, and he is a savage. Let's check it out. John Hamm from Baby Driver and Tag is the first choice for Bruce Wayne, uh, Batman older to replace Ben Affleck. And then also we have Javier Bardem from Skyfall and Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. I think between the two of these guys, I am going with John Hamm. John Hamm is the pick for me. Uh, Javier Bardem is talented. He's great. But John Hamm looks more like Batman. And that's important. That's very important to me. And he's a talented actor. I love I love John Hamm. I think he's funny when he needs to be. I think he's serious when he needs to be. Um, he's just great. I like the guy. So next, uh, let's take a look. Dick Grayson, Nightwing, Finn Whitrock from American Horror Story and Unbroken, and then also Charles Melton, Riverdale and Bad Boys for Life 2020. Charles Melton's got some serious swag, guys. I mean, he looks like it. This image is a great image for him, too, because it's an image of Nightwing where he doesn't have like a specifically... I don't know, white looking nose, I guess. Like if that makes any sense to you guys, it makes sense in my head, but um, he looks like he could be half Asian, almost like a young um, uh, Dean Kane or something, you know? And so I think that actually does work quite a bit. He's got the hair, he's got the look, he's got the physique. He, Charles Melton's a great choice for Nightwing. Um, and uh, Finn Whitrock is also really, really good. I think both these guys could do it. I'm gonna choose Charles Melton, but not by a lot, but I think he does deserve that role. So next up, we've got Barbara Gordon, Batgirl, Jane Levy, Castle Rock, Evil Dead, and we also have El uh, Elena Satine, Just Go With It, and Revenge. She's also from the X-Men show. The name is slipping my mind right now, but it's the one on Fox right now. Um, I think it's on Hulu. I can't remember what it is, but um, anyway, it's uh, she. she's really talented. I like her a lot. I think she could do a good job, but I'm going Jane Levy. For this one i think she's just the the better choice and she looks a lot more like most of the comic book versions of batgirl so next up we have jason todd red hood dacre montgomery from power rangers 2017 and stranger things and we also have miles teller from war dogs and divergent now miles teller 
um, I think he looks a lot more like uh, like Jason Todd does. Uh, it would be a lot easier to make him look visually more like a Jason Todd. And he's totally suited for the role, but Dacre Montgomery could play that role like no other. I think he would be so, so good in the role. Um, his acting ability, he's, he's proving that he's incredible as an actor. Um, just the diversity of roles he's had uh, recently even is really good. I really loved him in Power Rangers. I loved him in Stranger Things. Um, really good. And I think that he would, he would knock it out of the park. So if you're going to go more aesthetic um, for like a, a Jason Todd Red Hood, Miles Teller is your guy. But if you want um, more of that delivery on the acting, I think Dacre Montgomery would crush it. He would just crush it. Um, so yeah, that's my take. I think I'm going Dacre on this one. Next up, we have Tim Drake, Red Robin, Cole Sprouse. Um, is the first option from Riverdale and Five Feet Apart, uh, and also Josh Hutcherson from The Hunger Games and Future Man. I think between the two of these guys, I'm going Cole Sprouse. I think he looks much more like the, the character, and also I think that he plays a little bit more of that like analytical, critical thinker person, and he's he's not super macho, so that that kind of lends itself to the difference you'll be seeing on screen between Tim Drake and the other Robins or Nightwing or Red Hood or whoever, um, the Batman, it'll it'll make it him stand out more visually. And I like that. And Cole Sprouse can deliver on his introverted, kind of sarcastic kind of personality. That would work really well. So for me, it's Cole Sprouse. Um, next up, Damian Wayne. We've got David Mazouz from Gotham in the Darkness. And we also have MJ. Anthony from Replicas and the Jungle Book. He looks like he could play uh, young um, young Damian Wayne. I think that works really well, depending on what age range. For this one, I think either one would work. I think that um, MJ Anthony would be really good if he um, if he were, say, like uh, a young Damian Wayne. Now, personally, I think that the Damian Wayne in the DCEU should probably be somewhere between 13 and 16 or 17. So this guy could work, but I think that I would probably go David Mazuz on this one. Next up, Bruce Wayne, a young Batman from the Matt Reeves Batman movie that's coming up in the past. Uh, coming up in the past, it's a funny phrase. Matt Bomer, White Collar and Doom Patrol. Um, you wouldn't recognize him on Doom Patrol unless you stick it out to like a couple, you know, the middle of this first episode. Um, it, you know, he's wrapped in gauze for the entire thing, except for some flashbacks. And then uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens, Oscar Isaac, and X-Men Apocalypse. I think, dude, these guys are savage. I love both these actors to death. I love them a lot. Matt Bomer looks more like Batman, but I could totally get down for Oscar Isaac Batman. I love Oscar Isaac. Um, he was my favorite part of Star Wars The Force Awakens by far. Um, and I think that he would be awesome. I'm going to go with Oscar Isaac because it's more realistic now than Matt Bomer being Matt Reeves' Batman because he's currently on Doom Patrol. So I'm going to say Oscar Isaac. All right, now let's take a look at the teams. John Hamm, Finn Wittrock, Jane Levy, Dacre Montgomery, Cole Sprouse, David Mazuse, Matt Bomer. Team two is Javier Bardem, Charles Melton, Elaine, uh, Elena Satine. Uh, Miles Teller, Josh Hutcherson, MJ Anthony, and Oscar Isaac. Now, as much as I love Charles Melton, Elena, Satine, Miles Teller, Josh Hutcherson, um, and Oscar Isaac. Actually, I, I love the other cast. I'm definitely going team one, though. I think all, all across the board, it looks good. It fits. They're good acting. All of them are great actors, but for me, I'm going team one. You guys let me know what you are going to do down below. Which one's your favorite uh, and why? All right, next, FanCast Infinity is up. That's FanCast underscore Infinity. And we are going to take a look at his older Batman. He's got Tom Ellis from Lucifer and Isn't It Romantic and Dominic Cooper from Preacher and Warcraft. Now, Dominic Cooper's not a big guy, but I'm going to choose Dominic Cooper because he was also in Captain America, the first Avenger, and a couple other uh, Marvel movies where he played Tony Stark's father, Howard Stark. Um... And uh, he knows how to play the rich guy. He knows how to play the genius billionaire playboy philanthropist that it's going to take to be Bruce Wayne. And I would, I think he would crush it. He did a great job in Creature. He did a great job in Warcraft. I would like to see him. Uh, even though Tom Ellis looks a little bit more like a Batman figure with his like big jaw, 
I think that Dominic Cooper would crush and he'd probably give us a Bruce Wayne like we've never seen before. That would be really, really good. So next up is Darren Chris from Glee and American Horror Story and then John Bubniak from uh, Barry and Godzilla King of the Monsters 2019. I think um, I'm gonna go with Darren Chris. I'm gonna go with Darren Chris on this one um, because he looks way more like Nightwing. I think uh, John Bubniak looks really like soft, uh, kind of smooth. Um, he looks like a kid. And that's not what I want from Nightwing. I want him to be like rough and chiseled and that kind of stuff. And so Darren Chris has got my vote here. Um, you can you can tell I'm very aesthetic oriented. So I like I like to make sure it looks the way that I think it should. Um, Barbara Gordon, Batgirl. We have Nathalie uh, Emmanuel uh, from Game of Thrones and The Titan, and also Olivia Cook from Ready Player One and Bates Motel. Now. I haven't seen much of Natalie, uh, Nathalie Emmanuel, but I'm not a fan of I'm not a fan of uh, Olivia Cook very much. I don't like her um, style. I don't know what it is about her. I just I don't I don't like her, and I don't think she looks like a bad girl to me. I'm going Natalie Emmanuel, even though I haven't seen much of her work. I think that she is visually m much closer uh, than uh, than Olivia Cook but I would still want her to dye her hair red. I don't want that whole, I don't want the, the Starfire from Titan scenario to happen all over again where she doesn't look anything like Starfire. Make her look like Batgirl and you've got the person. Um, no problem with Zazie Beats and Deadpool, but they should have given her gray skin and a black dot instead of doing the thing that they did where they just let her be normal. That was boring. Um, so that's, you know, that's all I have to say about that. Make her look accurate and you got the person. So I'm going with Nathalie Emmanuel. Next up, Jason Todd, Red Hood. We have David Castaneda uh, from the Umbrella Academy and Titans. And then also um, we have uh, Lewis Pullman, um, Bad Times at the El Royale and Aftermath. Now, uh, David Castaneda from the Umbrella Academy, just he, he crushed his role as number two. And I think that number two was literally, it was Red Hood with knives is what it was. Instead of guns, you give Red Hood knives and the ability to manipulate and control knives that have been thrown. And that's your guy. You literally have Red Hood. He's the, he's the Robin that grew up and kind of deviated, did his own thing. He, he doesn't play by the rules. He doesn't really care much about the law. He's the guy. He's Red Hood. Um, much more than I think Lewis Pullman. Even though he's a good actor, definitely David has, has my vote. Tim Drake, Red Robin. We have Alexander Calvert from Supernatural, who, in my opinion, I think um, is a little, I think he, he's a little bit old for this one. I, I don't know. He might not be old, but he looks older. And that's, to me, again, it's about aesthetic. If you can make me believe you're, you're the appropriate age, then that's, what, that's what's going to get me. Edge of 17, Supernatural. And then also, Callan McAuliff. I don't know how, I'm say, how to say that, but McAuliff, maybe that's it. Um, I am number four and the great Gatsby between the two of these guys. I'm actually going to go Alexander Calvert, even though I said he doesn't much look like Tim Drake, Callan McAuliffe. Maybe if you shave his head, he'd look like the Tim Drake from, um, uh, the Arkham Knight series game. I think Callan would probably have that going for him, but, uh, maybe, um, in this circumstance, I'm probably still going Alexander Calvert. Although I will say if he did shave his head and he looked just like the, the Tim Drake from, the Arkham Knight series, I would be all about that. It looks sick. So that would work for me. Kind of a coin toss in my opinion. Uh, both of these guys seem equally uh, right for the role or not right for the role if you want to say that. But I think that uh, both of these guys are good, not ideal in my opinion. But you guys tell me if I'm stupid and crazy because <laughs> uh, I, haven't, I haven't seen much with these guys just yet. Maybe I just need to get more perspective. So next up, we have Damian Wayne Robin, Aiden Gallagher, The Umbrella Academy, Nikki, Ricky, Dicky, and Dawn. And then we also have Rohan Chand uh, from Mowgli, The Legend of or Legend of the Jungle, and also Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. Um, I don't think Rohan Chand is right for the role. <laughs> I just don't. And then uh, Aiden Gallagher is 100% right for the role. So uh, props to you, Fancast Infinity, for thinking outside the box with Rohan Chand but I'm going definitely 1000% Aiden Gallagher. Next up, we have Bruce Wayne, young Batman, 
uh, from the Matt Reeves Batman. We have Josh Segarra uh, from um, Arrow and Chicago PD. And then we also have Taryn Egerton from Kingsman and Billionaires Boys Club. Um, I think between the two of these, as much as I love Taryn, I'm going to go Josh Segarra. It would be absolutely epic to see him play young Batman in this in this thing. So that's my vote there. Let's take a look at the teams. Number one, Tom Ellis, Darren Chris, Nathalie Emmanuel, David Castaneda, Alexander Calvert, Aiden Gallagher, and Josh Segarra. Next up, we have uh, Dominic Cooper, John Bubniak, uh, Olivia Cook, Lewis Pullman, Ka uh, Colin uh, McAuliffe, I don't know how to say that, Rohan Chand, and Taron Egerton. Now, as much as I like Dominic Cooper, as much as I like... Taron Egerton, Team 1 has it all across the board for me, basically. So, I like Team 1 better. That's my pick. Good job. Good job, guys. Fancast underscore power. I love this image. <laughs> it's so great. He was my favorite part of Captain Marvel. I love I love that guy. Uh, ben Mendelsohn crushed it. Next, we have Bruce Wayne, older Batman. We have Jamie Dornan, 50 Shades of Grey, Once Upon a Time. And we also have Jake Gyllenhaal, Spider-Man Far From Home, and Southpaw. I love both of these castings. They're both really, really good. They're spot on, both of them. Um, between the two of them, I know Jamie Dornan looks the part. He would be great in the role, no doubt. I, I'm a huge fan of Jake Gyllenhaal, and I think he is, he almost had the role. He was almost confirmed for the role. He backed out so he could, he stepped back and was like, I don't think I want to touch this just yet. Uh, and then he ditched, and now he's with Marvel as Mysterio. Um, he was in talks, he was there. And then he just, sorry, it's not for me. And he backed out. So I would still like to take a Jake Gyllenhaal Batman over Jamie Dornan. But seriously, Jamie Dornan is a total win for the role. Both of these guys are great. Um, next up, Dick Grayson Nightwing. We have Robbie Amell, The Flash CW, and When We First Met. And we also have Joe Keery from Stranger Things and Molly's Game. Now, Joe Keery uh, is a really good actor. He's up and coming. He's got a lot of good work under his belt now, especially with Stranger Things. But... He does not look like Nightwing. Uh, he's not fit. He, oh, I mean, he's he's skinny, but he's not built. He's not ripped. Uh, he doesn't have a particularly outstanding physique. He doesn't have the face. Um, I I just don't see it. I do see 100% Robbie Amell. He's one of my top picks for Nightwing, and he literally looks like Nightwing 100%. Um, he basically is Nightwing. He's ripped. Um, he's, he's playing a superhero, right? Well, kind of, he played a superhero in the first season of Flash. But uh, nevertheless, he's no stranger to these types of things. He's hilarious. He's witty. He's a ladies' man. He's all these things. All the above. Check, 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 check. Win. Joe Curie is an out-of-the-box pick, and I'm grateful that you brought him up because that's really cool. Uh, way to think outside the box. Fan cast power. But my choice is Robbie Mel. Next up, we have Olivia Cook from Ready Player One and Bates Motel, and then also Catherine Langford from 13 Reasons Why, and an unnamed credit at the end of, uh, or in the credits of Avengers Endgame on IMDb. So she's in the IMDb for Avengers Endgame with no name, so we don't know who she's going to play. Uh, very, very interesting, it, and it raises a lot of questions, but nevertheless, I would say Catherine Langford over Olivia Cook for me. She looks more the part. Um, next up, we have Taron Egerton, Kingsman, and uh, Robin Hood for Jason Todd, Red Hood, and then also Dacre Montgomery. Both of these guys are two of my top picks for, um, for uh, what is it, uh, Red, Red Hood, sorry. So for Red Hood, both these guys would crush, knock it out of the park. If I had to pick between the two of them, I think I'm going to go Taron Egerton, but seriously, not by much. Dacre Montgomery is a legend. And he would be amazing in this role. Next up, we have Tim Drake, Red Robin, Logan Lerman from Percy Jackson series, and then also Fury. And we have Jack Griffo, the Thundermans, and Sharknado 3. Oh, hell no. So he would be a really, visually, he looks um, a lot like uh, like the, the comic book version of Tim Drake, which is great. That's what you want. Um, and I think he's a good actor. But Logan Lerman, I think, is a better actor. And I think that Logan Lerman also looks the part. And with a little bit of black hair dye, he would look exactly like the part. So not, not difficult to make him fit the role a little bit more perfectly, which he already is really great for the role. I think Logan Lerman's my pick. But good job bringing up Jack Griffo. That's, that's really cool. All right, fan cast power. Tenzing Norgay Trainer, Night Squad, Liv and Maddie, and then also Nolan Cross, Any Day, and Noah. I think uh, Nolan Cross is good, 
but for me it's 100% Tenzing Norgay trainer he just looks like the part and he looks like he would be a Bruce Wayne slash um, hybrid with uh, uh, Natal uh, what is it Natalia uh, Talia sorry not Talia. I was getting Natalia mixed up another name uh, Talia Al Ghul she would be great uh, and he looks like he would be that hybrid of some some like mystical either Eastern or Middle Eastern mixed with whatever Bruce Wayne is uh, like Spaniard or I don't know what he is so yeah that, that he looks more the part to me Tenzing's got it Tenzing's got it and so next up we have young Batman Bruce Wayne from Matt Reeves the Batman Dylan O'Brien American Assassin and the Maze Runner and then we also have Jack Fallahi from Twisted and How to Get Away with Murder Dylan O'Brien would be amazing um, but I think Jack Fallahi looks a little bit more like a Bruce Wayne to me Dylan O'Brien looks 100% like he could play Dick Grayson or Red Hood, but mostly Dick Grayson. And um, I think that Jack Fallahi would be my choice here from Twisted and How to Get Away with Murder. He would be my choice for Batman. All right, next, let's take a look at the lists. So we've got team one is Jamie Dornan, Robbie Amell, Olivia Cook, Taryn Egerton, Logan Lerman, Tenzing Norgay Trainer, and Dylan O'Brien. Uh, and team two is Jake Gyllenhaal, Joe Keery, Catherine Langford, Dacre Montgomery, Jack Griffo, Nolan Cross, and Jack Valley. I am going with team one. Um, I think team one is where it's at. I'm definitely going there. Great picks all around, I, I think. And uh, you guys let me know what you think down below. Who, Which team do you like from FanCast underscore power? Next up, we got Jax.FanCasts. Welcome to the summit. We have um, Michael Fassbender for Batman, older Batman. Assassin's Creed and X-Men Dark Phoenix and Jamie Dornan again 50 Shades of Grey and Once Upon a Time um, I love Jamie Dornan uh, I also love Michael Fassbender this one's really tough for me but I think I'm gonna go with Fassbender just because he's just he's a legend he's the he's one of the best actors we have alive today he's really good I'm going Fassbender next we have Dick Grayson Nightwing Dylan O'Brien an American Assassin and Maze Runner and Aaron Taylor Johnson Avengers Age of Ultron and Godzilla 2014. I am gonna go with Jack uh, Jack's fan cast. I'm going with Dylan O'Brien uh, For for Nightwing. He's my top pick. I got to go with that Aaron Taylor Johnson would do a great job But I'm gonna go Dylan Next up we have uh, oh this one's really cool Barbara Gordon Batgirl Haley Steinfeld Bumblebee and spider-man into the spider-verse and also Naomi Scott Aladdin and Power Rangers 2017. I think this is really cool both of these ladies um don't look spot on for the role. They don't look perfectly like Batgirl. But if both of them were equally willing to like dye their hair or get a really good wig or something, I, I don't like to go with wigs. I like I prefer them to dye their hair. I know that's a huge like thing for girls. But um, if they were willing, if they're both like equally willing to do that, they're both really talented. I would go Naomi Scott for this one, even over Haley Steinfeld, who would do a good job. I think they would both be really good. But I'm going Naomi Scott. I really like her in Power Rangers. I can't wait to see her in Aladdin. I think it's going to be good. Next up, Jason Todd, Red Hood. We have Taron Egerton, Kingsman, and, Re and Robin Hood. And then we also have Charlie Heaton from New Mutants and Stranger Things. Um, Charlie Heaton is really cool. I think he has that kind of broken soul, broken spirit look to him, which would be really good. But, dude, it's hard for me to overcome. Like, Taron Egerton is just a beast. He would be so good in the role. And he could definitely play that broken soul as well. I think Charlie Heaton has those eyes that tell that story for you. And uh, that would be helpful. But I'm going Taron Egerton. All right, next up, we got Tim Drake, Red Robin, Ryan Potter from Titans and Big Hero 6. And we also have Ty Simpkins from Jurassic World and Iron Man 3. Between the two of these, my favorite is Ryan Potter. I really do like Ryan Potter for the role. I thought that it would have been great for him to get the role when he campaigned for it. Um, to you know, the video he sent in to uh, Warner Brothers and to Ben Affleck. Um, I think he would. He deserves the role. He should get the role. It'd be difficult for him with Titans, but I think much more than even Ty Simpkins, I would take Ryan Potter. All right, Damian Wayne, Robin. We have Tenzing Norgay Trainer from Night Squad and Living Maddie, and we also have Jaden Lieberher. Uh, if that's how you say it from it and the book of Henry now I haven't seen it I haven't seen the book of Henry I haven't seen much of this kid at work Tenzing Norgay trainer gets the win for me he looks much more like the part now Jaden does look the part he looks uh he does look like a Damian Wayne but Tenzing I think looks much more like a, a Damian Wayne and he has much more of an angered look to him so I'm gonna go with uh Tenzing Norgay trainer 
And then for the young Batman for Jax Van Cast, we have Tyler Hoechlin uh, from Supergirl, Teen Wolf, and then we also have Richard Madden from Game of Thrones and Bodyguard. Between the two of these, I am going with Tyler Hoechlin. Tyler Hoechlin is being absolutely squandered on Supergirl and he deserves a much more prominent role where he can shine more instead of just being a, a stupid prop so that, you know, like you can just say Supergirl beat Superman, which means she's the best in the world. It's like, that's not what Superman's there for and he would kick her butt. So uh, I, Tyler Hoechlin deserves a better, he deserves better from Warner Brothers in DC. He should get that role. And not just because of that, but because he's a really good actor and he looks like Batman and he can play Batman. And he's got the physique for Batman. Uh, Richard Madden's great, but I'm going Tyler. All right, let's take a look at the teams. So team one, Michael Fassbender, Dylan O'Brien, Haley Steinfeld, Taryn Egerton, Ryan Potter, Tenzing Norgay Trainer, and Tyler Hoechlin. And then for team two, we have Jamie Dornan, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Namo Scott, Charlie Heaton, Ty Simpkins, Jaden Lieberher, and uh, Richard Madden. So both of these teams are sick. They're really, really good. But because I like the whole crew on the top all the way across with no exceptions, I'm going team one, uh, definitely. So let me know what you guys think down below. All right, fan casting 10, you're up. Welcome to the summit. Uh, I like how cr how bright your, your logo is. That's pretty cool. Uh, very bold choice to go with orange. Uh, fan casting 10, Luke Evans for, for Batman and from The Hobbit and Beauty and the Beast. And then also Oscar Isaac, x-men apocalypse and star wars the force awakens now as i said already as much as i love oscar isaac i would like to see oscar isaac play batman between the two of these guys how are you not going to go with gaston dude i mean luke evans played freaking gaston in beauty and the beast he is a man's man he's the guy i i'm going luke evans luke evans is definitely the guy for me all right dick grayson nightwing we have dylan o'brien american assassin maze runner and drew roy from falling skies and sugar skies this one's really impressive because I, I I didn't really I didn't put it together I didn't think about Drew Roy but he does he looks a tremendous amount like Nightwing he looks like he looks like Dick Grayson it's insane it's surprising how much he looks like him so for that I really like him um, I haven't seen much of his work I'm going Dylan O'Brien but Drew Roy is not a loss in my opinion uh, as long as he can as long as he can portray that part um, then he'll be cool. I just don't know that he can from my my ignorance and my unexperience, my inexperience with his, um, uh, I guess his resume. All right, next up, Barbara Gordon, Batgirl. We have Shane Lee and Woodley, The Fault in Our Stars, and Divergent. We also have actor number actress number two, Catherine McNamara, Shadowhunters, and Natural Selection. Shane Lee and Woodley is very talented. I liked her in The Fault in Our Stars, and I liked her in Divergent, but. I've I've always been I've been a fan of Catherine McNamara. Um, I think that she is good on Shadowhunters. I think that Shadowhunters suffers from a script and a story that's very very it leans so hard into teen angst because that's the source material that's what it's supposed to be. But it's so it can get cheesy at times because of the writing. I don't think it's her fault. I think she's a talented actress. I like Cat McNamara for this role. I think both of these ladies would do a good job, but I think I'm going Cat. All right. Red Hood, we've got Cody Christian from Teen Wolf and Assassination Nation, and then also Froy Gutierrez from Teen Wolf and the Goldbergs. Between the two of these guys, I'm going Cody Christian. He looks more the part, and then he can play that part for sure. Um, so I think that's good. Next up, we have Tim Drake, Red Robin, Colin Ford from Everyday and Jake and the Neverland Pirates, and Asa Butterfield, the space between us and Ender's Game. Now, um, I think between the two of these guys, this is tough. I'm gonna go with Asa Butterfield. I like Asa Butterfield for the role. And he'll play that critical thinker that kind of prefers to stay out of the fight as much and do more of the investigative work, the detective work, um, and keep a watchful eye over his city. I think that Asa Butterfield would convey that because of his build, his frame. Obviously, if you're gonna play a superhero, you get in shape, right? But Asa Butterfield would be able to teeter that line where he is a hero, he can fight, but he prefers not to fight because he understands his own limitations. And he would be able to uh, use his best weapon, his mind, and that would be really good. I like Asa Butterfield for that. All right, Damian Wayne, Aiden Gallagher, Ricky, Dicky, uh, sorry, The Umbrella Academy, and Nikki, Ricky, Dicky, and Dawn. Sorry, it's kind of hard to say. Uh, say that 10 times fast. And then Tenzing Norgay Trainer, Night Squad, and Liv and Maddie. Both of these guys are great for this role, but I'm going Aiden Gallagher. 
All right, now, Bruce Wayne, young Batman from the Matt Reeves Batman. Um, we have Jeremy Irvine from Billionaire Boys Club, which I haven't seen, and The Fallen, which I haven't seen. And Aaron Taylor Johnson from Inver uh, Avengers Age of Ultron, which I have seen, and tw Godzilla 2014, which I have seen. So I'm going Aaron Taylor Johnson, someone who I've seen. And I think he does actually, he looks more the part to me, um, a little bit more macho in my opinion. Uh, it is just an opinion. Jeremy Irvine is not like not macho, but I'm going a Aaron Taylor Johnson. ATJ all the way. All right, let's take a look at the teams. Uh, team one, Luke Evans, Dylan O'Brien, Shailene Woodley, Cody Christian, Colin Ford, Aiden Gallagher, and Jeremy Irvine. Team two is Oscar Isaac, Drew Roy, Kat McNamara, Foy Gutierrez, Asa Butterfield, Tenzing Norgate Trainer, and Aaron Taylor Johnson. Between the two of these teams, I am going with team one. Let me know what you guys think. This one's kind of close. I like all the picks. I really do. I like all of the picks. Um, but let me know which one uh, you prefer. So I'm going team one. All right, fan casting heroes. Welcome to the summit. Uh, let's see what you got. First up, yes, Eric Bana from Star Trek and Hulk. And number two, Anson Mount, Hell on Wheels and Inhumans. Dude, dude, these are these are sick. I love these castings. Eric Bana would be amazing. He's kind of like if you were to take uh, Christian Bale and George Clooney and just fuse them. That's what he is. And so he would be that that hybrid fusion there. But also, Anson Mount, dude, he was wasted in, in humans. He was, he's such a good actor. He's so, he's such a powerful presence. He did a good job as Black Bolt, but the show sucked. Um, and it's not his fault. It's just, it didn't come together the way it should have. They gave it such a low budget that you could tell. It was the first Marvel project to really do that, uh, which is a bummer. It was literally a Marvel throwaway. They were like, let's just um, do this just so we can say we did it. And uh, that was just, it was frustrating to me because I like the Inhumans. Um, so anyway, Anson Mount would be awesome. You're making me pick between two savages, dude. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm going to go Eric Bana. He's on my list, but Anson Mount is no joke. And so if most of your team two ends up being like really sick, I'll be happy to pick Anson Mount. So anyway, um, so Dick Grayson, Nightwing. We have Finn Whitrock from American Crime Story and Unbroken. Uh, who is great. He looks the part. And then also Tyler Posey, Teen Wolf, and Smallville. He looks the part. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I was up really late. So, Finn Whitrock, American Crime Story, I think is going to get my vote here. But Tyler Posey would be really, really good in the role. Uh, I'm going Finn, actor number one. Next up, we've got Barbara Gordon, Batgirl, Jane Levy, Evil Dead, and Castle Rock, and actor number, actress number two, Catherine McNamara, Shadowhunters, and Maze Runner, The Score Trials. I love both of these. I think that Jane Levy is fantastic. I think she would do an amazing job, but I would pick Kat McNamara. I think that she, to me, uh, looks as much the part, and I think that she would do a really good job in the role, especially in her relation to Nightwing, Dick Grayson, if it was like Dylan O'Brien or someone like that, uh, it would be a really good match. Not that Jane Levy wouldn't do that, but personally, I lean towards Kat. Let me know if I'm wrong or if you guys like Jane more. I want to hear that. So, all right, next up, Jason Todd, Red Hood. We got Carter Jenkins from Famous in Love and Mad Men, and then Dacre Montgomery, Stranger Things, Power Rangers 2017. Between the two of these guys, uh, Carter Jenkins looks more like Jason Todd, but I would go with Dacre Montgomery because I know that he would deliver that performance. You could just dye his hair too and then you got it basically. As long as he's not blonde. You don't want a blonde Jason Todd. That doesn't work. You want to have Jason Todd look like Jason Todd with black hair. Um, so I would go I would go with Dacre on this one. Next up, we've got Tim Drake, Red Robin, Ryan Potter, Titans, Big Hero 6, and then Dylan Minnette from 13 Reasons Why and Prisoners. Dylan Minnette is a savage. He's really good. I like Dylan Minnette. I think he would be a, an, an awesome uh, Tim Drake. Uh, either one of these is a win for me. Uh, D Dylan Minnette looks much more, in my opinion, like Tim Drake. Um, you just got to get him a haircut that works for the role. <laughs> <laughs> get or have him grow his hair out and then and then cut it so it's all wispy or whatever but ryan potter is great for the role i think i might i might still go with ryan potter on this one but it's a win either way good choices and then again tenzing norgay trainer and aiden gallagher i like aiden gallagher more than tenzing norgay trainer uh so then uh bryce uh, i'm sorry <laughs> bryce bryce wayne bruce wayne the batman we've got jamie 
Dornan from Fifty Shades of Grey, and Ben Barnes, who just recently finished his work on The Punisher, Netflix, and The Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian. Dude, this is such a tough call. Ben Barnes was fantastic. He was phenomenal in Punisher on Netflix. I love him there. Um, I wanted to see so much more. I wanted them to do a mini series just on him as the villain um, and get into some of that and maybe do some Bullseye from the Daredevil series and maybe have them team up or something like that. That'd be sick. But uh, that's just me wishful rambling thinking. But the uh, Jamie Dornan, I think, would be probably... Actually, no. You know what? I'm going Ben Barnes because if he's going to be a younger Batman, Ben Barnes looks younger than Jamie Dornan. Uh, and that, you know, visually, aesthetically, that matters. So I would go with Ben Barnes. But both of them, perfect for the role. Next, let's go over the team. Let's go over the list. Eric Bana, Finn Whitrock, Jane Levy, Carter Jenkins, J uh, Ryan Potter, Tenzing Norgay Trainer, and Jamie Dornan. Then team two is Anson Mount, Tyler Posey, Kat McNamara, Dacre Montgomery, Dylan Minnette, Aiden Gallagher and Ben Barnes. This is going to surprise most of you, but I'm going with Team 2. I think that Team 2 is awesome. Anson Mount, Tyler Posey, Kat McNamara, Dacre Montgomery, Dylan Minnette, Aiden Gallagher, Ben Barnes is an all-star cast. That would be legit. I would love to see that. All right, FanCast underscore power. Welcome to the summit. Let's take a look at your picks. We got John Hamm from uh, Baby Driver and uh, Mad Men, and then also Jake Gyllenhaal from Spider-Man Far From Home and Southpaw. Between the two of these guys, um, this is incredibly difficult for me because I'm a huge fan of both of these guys. I think the person that looks more like Batman is actually John Hamm. The person that I think that could play the role better, probably Jake Gyllenhaal. But it's so close in both categories. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I'm going to say John Hamm because Jake Gyllenhaal is with Marvel right now. And it's unlikely. All right. So then Dick Grayson, Nightwing. We have Casey Scott from Dragon Warriors and K-9 Adventures Lost of, or Legend of the Lost Gold. And then Dylan O'Brien. For me, this is a no-brainer. I'm going with Dylan O'Brien. All right. Next up, we have uh, FanCast underscore Forever chooses Chloe Grace Moretz from Kick-Ass and The Equalizer. And also Brittany Snow from Pitch Perfect and Bushwick. Chloe Grace Moretz is great, but I'm going Britney Snow. I really like Britney Snow. I think she would be really good in the role. Um, a little bit older, but I think that it won't be that big a deal because she looks very youthful. So that, that I think would be my pick there. Now, Jason Todd. We have Taryn Egerton, and we also have Cole Sprouse. I would not pick Cole Sprouse for this one. I think he's a Tim Drake through and through, and I don't think he would be able to deliver the same way that Taron Egerton would for this role. I like that you threw him out there as a, as a casting choice, but for me, it's Taron Egerton all the way. Because you have to find someone that could legit, believably, beat up whoever is going to be the guy playing your Nightwing. You know what I mean? And like, they would be close. Nightwing obviously would beat uh, Taron Egerton, but he's got to be, it's got to be darn close, like within an inch of his life. So Taron Egerton has the role for me. All right, next up, Tim Drake. We have Asa Butterfield. Ender's Game and The Space Between Us, and Ryan Potter. This one's tough, dude. I think, uh, mm, it's so close, man. It's so close. I'm gonna go with Asa Butterfield, because I think that the way that he could pull off the uh, the thinker, the, the detective, would be, I think, a little bit better than Ryan Potter. So let's, uh, let's keep moving. Aiden Gallagher versus Dylan Kingwell for the role of Damian Wayne. Dylan Kingwell is a sweetheart, and I don't think that he would be as good for the role as Aiden Gallagher. Aiden Gallagher is basically the GOAT for this role, and I think even if you're great, Dylan Kingwell is probably good for the role. He, I don't know that he'll be as good for the role as Aiden Gallagher. So that's my two cents. Now, uh, for Bruce Wayne, young Batman, we have Army Hammer, Man From U.N.C.L.E., and we also have Matt Lanter. And I freaking love Matt Lancer from Timeless and The Clone Wars. I mostly love him from The Clone Wars, but I saw him in Timeless. I actually watched Timeless because he was in it. And so I love this guy. He did such a good job in Timeless playing that like time cop or whatever they, they made him out to be, you know. And so I think he would be great for the role. I'm going with Matt Lanter on this one. Even though Army Hammer's great, Matt Lanter looks younger than Army Hammer does. And so Matt Lanter would be able to play a, a Batman in his 20s. It's just, it's that simple. All right. All right. So now we have 
Team one, John Hamm, Casey Cott. Uh, I think it's supposed to say Casey Scott, Casey Cott. I don't know. Uh, maybe I mistyped that. Chloe Grace Moretz, Taryn Egerton, Asa Butterfield, Aiden Gallagher, um, Army Hammer. And then team two, we have Jake Gyllenhaal, Dylan O'Brien, Brittany Snow, Cole Sprouse, Ryan Potter, uh, Dylan Kingwell, and Army Hammer. Ooh, this one's such like a mixed bag. You know, uh, as much as I really wanted to go team two, I might have to go team one. It's tough because I don't see Casey Cott as, as Nightwing and I don't see Cole Sprouse as Red Hood. So they're on the opposite ends and everyone else is kind of somewhere in the middle. Except um, except for Aiden Gallagher. Definite, definite win for me. So I'm going to go team one. Let me know what you guys think down below. That one took some thinking. World of Fancasts. World.of.fancasts. Welcome back to the summit, my friend. We have... Uh, Milo Ventimiglia for Bru uh, for Bruce Wayne, Batman, and the DCEU, Heroes, and This Is Us. And we also have Justin Hartley from Smallville, and This Is Us. So, this is really close. Even though he doesn't, he's not black-haired, I'm going to go with Justin Hartley. But you're going to have to dye his hair for me, because I'm not, you, you can't do a blonde Batman. That doesn't work. Um, give us the black hair, and Justin Hartley's the guy. Definitely. Good choices, both of them, though. Dick Grayson, Nightwing. We have Jack Fallahy, uh, How to Get Away with Murder and Twisted. And then we have Timothy Chalamet from Interstellar and Beautiful Boy. Now, Timothy Chalamet is a talented up-and-coming actor. Um, although, I will say I don't see him as a Nightwing. I would take Jack Fallahy over Timothy Chalamet for this one. All right, next up, we have Barbara Gordon, Batgirl, Eve Hewson from Bridge of Spies and Robin Hood. And we also have Haley Lou Richardson from Split and the Edge of Seventeen. Between the two of these... I would take Haley Lou Richardson because Eve Hewson looks, I think, a little too old, in my opinion. But uh, Haley Lou Richardson would, would be able to play a much broader range of Batgirl. So I'm going to take Haley Lou. All right, next we have Jason Todd, Red Hood. We have Brandon Flynn, uh, Brain Dead, and 13 Reasons Why. And then Alex Wolf, Jumanji, uh, Welcome to the Jungle, and Patriot's Day. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, this is just like a little tidbit. Alex Wolf was in, do you guys remember on Nickelodeon, there was the Naked Brothers Band? He was, I think he was the drummer. He was that kid back in the day on the Naked Brothers Band on Nickelodeon. Um, so he's an actor now, he's in J Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle and Patriot's Day. Um, he's come a long way since then. I would still say Brandon Flynn is my Jason Todd for that one. I think Brandon Flynn's got that. All right, next up we have uh, Tim Drake, Ryan, uh, Red Robin. We have Ryan Potter, Big Hero 6 and Titans. And then we have Chandler Riggs, The Walking Dead and Keep Watching. Between the two of these, I am going Ryan Potter. Very easy for me. Uh, Damian Wayne, Robin, Aramis Knight, Into the Badlands and Ender's Game, which is a really cool choice. I like I like that kid. And then Tenzing Norgay Trainer, um, uh, Night Squad, and Livin' Maddie. This is a rare situation where I'm going to choose someone over Tenzing, and it's Aramis Knight. I, I like Aramis Knight for this one. I, I'm going to choose Aramis. All right, and next up... Bruce Wayne uh, from The Batman, the younger Batman. We have Game of Thrones, Richard Madden, uh, who is also in Bodyguard. And we have Jonathan Groff, Mindhunter and Looking. Between the two of these guys, um, I think that Jonathan Groff looks more like Batman. But uh, Richard Madden's a savage, and I would, I would like to give Richard Madden a shot on this one. So I'm going to go with Richard Madden. All right, so let's take a look at the list. We have number one, Vi uh, Milo Ventimiglia. We have Jack Fallahy, Eve Hewson, Brandon Flynn, Ryan Potter, Aramis Knight, and Richard Madden. Then for team two, we have Justin Hartley, Timothy Chalamet, Kaylee Richardson, Alex Wolf, Chandler Riggs, Tenzin Norgay Trainer, and Jonathan Groff. Um, dude, this one's tough, man. I'm going to go with team one. Even though a lot of the picks were contrary to what I had selected, I think looking at them all together, I think team one makes the most sense. Uh, I'm going to go with team one. Let me know if you guys disagree with me on that one. All right. Mr. Funcaster. Welcome back to the fan casting summit. We have for Batman in the DCEU to replace Ben Affleck. We have Clive Standin from Vikings and Taken. This is a great pick. He was on my list as well. Uh, and Lee Pace, Guardians of the Galaxy and The Hobbit Unexpected Journey. Now, he plays Ronan the Accuser in case you didn't guys recognize him. But Lee Pace was also in um, Captain Marvel as the same character, Ronan the Accuser. 
that's a really good really good pick <laughs> sorry guys i'm over here yawning like a loser um clive standen vikings and taken i think is my pick here lee pace is awesome he's talented but i'm gonna go with clive because he's no stranger to those crazy action shots um he he was in vikings dude he was uh he was uh rollo in vikings how are you gonna say no to that dude epic choice love that all right next up we have kai hong lee for nightwing uh from the maze runner and wish upon and then we also have richard madden game of thrones and bodyguard um i'm gonna go i i honestly don't think either of these guys look like nightwing at all i don't think either of these guys look like nightwing um but i'm gonna go with kai hong lee because uh i think his hair looks more like i know that's kind of shallow but i'm gonna go they're both really good actors i think richard madden's a great actor i think kai hong lee's a good actor but i'm gonna go with kai hong because his hair <laughs> i don't know it's kind of a coin toss Ding. here i don't know which one you pick um yeah by a by a slim margin kai hong lee all right Barbara Gordon, Batgirl, um, Olivia Cook, Ready Player One, Bates Motel, and then also Kaya Scodelario. I'm going Kaya Scodelario, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tale, and The Maze Runner. She looks way more like Batgirl to me. Um, way closer by a long shot. So I'm going there. Um, next, we have Jason Todd, Red Hood, Dacre Montgomery, Stranger Things, Power, Power Rangers 2017, and John Boyega, Star Wars The Force Awakens, and Pacific Rim Uprising. I have not seen John Boyega in anything that makes me think he could play Red Red Hood. Maybe I am missing something, but I have not seen him play anything remotely as serious or uh, damaged as Jason Todd would need to be by a long shot, not just because uh, Dacre Montgomery is white, he has the same like facial structure i guess i don't know he would need to dye his hair aesthetics matter to me but for sure dacre montgomery because i've seen him act and i've seen him act in ways that add up to playing jason todd i don't see john boyega it doesn't it, to me it doesn't make sense um now tim drake red robin brian co brian keogan uh i don't know how to say his name but dunkirk and american animals and then Thomas Brody Sangster from Game of Thrones and Maze Runner. I like Thomas Brody Sangster. Um, he's a great actor, but I think that for Red Robin, Brian Keoghan looks a little bit more like Tim Drake. So I'm gonna go with Brian Keoghan. And for Damian Wayne, we have, again, Rohan Chand and Neil Sethi. So a lot of Jungle Book here, but let's take a look. <laughs> Rohan Chand is Mowgli, the legend of the jungle. And then Jumanji, welcome to the jungle. And Neil Sethi, the jungle book and Diwali. Um, I think between the two of these guys, Neil Sethi looks way more like Damian Wayne. Um, yeah, by a lot. So I'm going Neil Sethi. So Bruce Wayne, uh, young Batman for the Batman. We have Alex Pettifer from I Am Number Four and Endless Love, and we have Nicholas Holt from X Men: Dark Phoenix and Mad Max: Fury Road. Alex Pettifer is a savage, um, but I think that if I had to pick between the two, I am going Nicholas Holt. I really like him, and I think he looks more the part. Um, that's objective, or it's subjective. So let me know if my opinion is stupid. <laughs> I appreciate when you guys tell me you disagree and why you why you disagree. Um, don't just tell me what you, that you disagree, but tell me why you disagree, because I want to hear that. Next, let's read off the list. Number one, Clive Standen, Kai Hong Lee, Olivia Cook, Dacre Montgomery, Brian Keoghan, Rohan Chound, and Alex Pettifer. And second, we have Lee Pace, Richard Madden, Kaya Scodelero, John Boyega, Thomas Brody Sangster, Neil Sethi, and Nicholas Holt. I am surprised by what I'm about to say, but I'm going with Team 2. I'm going to go with Team 2 because Lee Pace is good, Richard Madden is good, Kaya Scodelero is good. John Boyega, I don't know if he can do it, but we'll see. <laughs> and Tom, or we won't see. This is a fan casting. But Thomas Brody Sangster uh, will do good. Uh, and Neil Sethi, probably good. Uh, and Nicholas Holt will do good. So I think that's my choice there, team two. Fancast.frenzy. Welcome back to the summit. For older ba Batman, we have Bradley Cooper, a Star Wars born American sniper. And we also have Idris Elba, Hobbs and Shaw, and Pacific Rim. Now, let me say something. I think that Bradley Cooper would do an, an awesome job. And he's probably 
um, probably as good an actor as Idris Elba. But Idris Elba, you, you guys know that I'm not I'm not much into like race bending casts or anything like that. But if you're gonna go with a black Batman, there is no better actor to play him. Not one actor than Idris Elba. Idris Elba would be the guy you want to play Batman. So for, for Hobbs and Shaw, Pacific Rim, he's a savage. He played Heimdall in Marvel. He's no longer there anymore. He's dead. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and say either of these guys is a win. I'm probably still gonna pick Bradley Cooper because facts don't care about your feelings. Batman is white. But even still, Idris Elba is amazing. And if you are going to race bend, like you picked Kai Hong Lee instead of the other guy for Nightwing, then yeah, Idris Elba would be a good Batman. He would definitely play the role. Uh, he'd knock it out of the park, no doubt. So either way, but Bradley Cooper is my pick. And um, Thomas McDonnell uh, from The 100 and Dark Shadows for Nightwing. And then also Zac Efron from Baywatch and The Greatest Showman. I am I love Thomas McDonnell. This is epic because I don't see a lot of other people picking Thomas McDonnell. But Zac Efron is insanely good. He is perfect for Nightwing. Absolutely perfect. Physique, acting ability, his dramatic acting, his action, uh, his uh, everything, his face, his hair, everything is perfect for Nightwing. And uh, I'm going, I'm going Zac Efron. As much as Thomas McDonald would have probably beat out most of the other picks I've seen so far, Zac Efron is who he's going up against, and you just don't beat Zac Efron for this. So next up, we've got Barbara Gordon, Batgirl. We have Mina Sundwall and from Lost in Space and Horror, hashtag horror, and also Eliza Taylor from The 100 and Thumper. Now, clearly, Mina Sunwell is an actual redhead. Uh, she would be really good for this role, but if Eliza Taylor was willing to dye her hair, then yes, I would take Eliza Taylor. I think she's a better actress. All right, so uh, Jason Todd, Red Hood, Taron Egerton, Kingsman and Rocketman, and then Graham Phillips, The Good Wife and Blockers. We have, uh, let's see, jeez, man, this is this is good. I'm gonna say Taron Egerton. Uh, Graham Phillips is good, but Taron is better. All right, so Tim Drake, Red Robin, Cole Sprouse, Riverdale, five feet apart, and then Ryan Potter, Titans, and Big Hero Six. I love Ryan Potter, but I think I'm gonna go uh, with this one. I think I'm gonna go Cole Sprouse. Uh, I didn't think I was gonna choose him over over Ryan Potter, but I am. I'm definitely gonna do that. So. Cole Sprouse is the guy for Tim Drake. Next, we have Damian Wayne, uh, Robin, Aiden Gallagher, The Umbrella Academy, and Pierce Gagnon. I don't know how to say that. Gagnon uh, from Looper in Tomorrowland. I'm going to definitely pick Aiden Gallagher. No no offense towards Pierce Gagnon. He just doesn't look the role. He's a little too soft, little like cheeky cheeks and all that stuff. Aiden Gallagher looks like he's a warrior that's been training since he was a child. So that's, that's what I'm going to pick for that one. Bruce Wayne, Matt Reeves, the Batman, Michael Fassbender, X-Men, Dark Phoenix, and Assassin's Creed, and then also actor number two, Taron Egerton, Kingsman, and Rocketman. Now, Michael Fassbender is in his, I think he's in his upper 30s, maybe he's 40 now. He's too old to play a Batman in his 20s. I'm not left with any choice but to pick Taron Egerton. Um, Matt Reeves, the Batman, will not be an actor in his 40s. It's already confirmed he's going to be in his 20s. So um, that's that's what it is, Taron Egerton. Otherwise, I would have chosen Michael Fassbender, but let's take a look. We've got Bradley Cooper, Thomas McDonald, Mina Sunwell, Taron Egerton, Cole Sprouse, Aiden Gallagher, and Michael Fassbender. And then for team two, we have Idris Elba, Zac Efron, Eliza Taylor, Graham Phillips, Ryan Potter, Pierce Gagnon, and Taron Egerton. Now, I love um, Zac Efron for this role. I love Eliza Taylor for this role. I love Ryan Potter for this role. I love... Uh, Taron Egerton for the young Batman. Um, and I think Idris Elba would do a really good job. But I'm going with Team One. Because Bradley Cooper is going to do a great job. Um, Thomas McDonald is going to do a great job. Mina, Mina Sunwell may do a good job. And I don't know. Taron Egerton would crush. He would do so good. Cole Sprouse would do great. Aiden Gallagher would do great. Michael Fassbender would do great if he were young enough. So I'm going to go Team One. All right, next we have Dr. Underscore Fancast. Um, welcome to the Fancasting Summit. 
we have John Hamm for Batman, Tag and Madman, and we have Matt Damon, Jason Bourne, and The Martian. Both of these would be awesome. How sweet would it be if Matt Damon was the guy to replace Ben Affleck? They're best friends. They worked on so many projects together. Um, they have a very similar, not not the same, obviously. Uh, ben Affleck's huge. But Matt Damon has a similar physique, and he's no stranger to ridiculous action, just like we've seen him do in Jason Bourne. This is tough. It's really tough. If you if he dyes his hair and he's willing to go darker hair, I would say Matt Damon. John Hamm would be a very 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 close second. Next, Jason uh, Dick Grayson, uh, Nightwing. We have Andrew Garfield, the Amazing Spider-Man, Hacksaw Ridge, and then Aaron Taylor Johnson, Avengers: Age of Ultron and Godzilla 2014. Andrew Garfield uh, can bulk up, and he could be a little bit bigger. But Aaron Taylor Johnson has the physique. He's got the look, his head shape, like everything is is on point with Aaron Taylor Johnson. So I'm going Aaron Taylor. As much love as I have for Andrew Garfield, Aaron Taylor's got it for me. Barbara Gordon, Batgirl, Evan Rachel Wood, uh, Westworld and True Blood, and then Sayoris Ronan from Mary Queen of Scots and Lady Bird. These are both really good. Evan Rachel Wood is awesome. Um, I think I'm going Evan Rachel Wood for this one. Uh, just because to me her face shape looks a little bit more Batgirl than uh, Sayoris Ronan. But Sayoris Ronan's great. All right, so next we have Red Hood, Charlie Heaton, Stranger Things and New Mutants, and Dacre Montgomery, Stranger Things, and Power Rangers 2017. Between the two of these guys, I'm going Dacre Montgomery. Next up, we have Til Timothy Chalamet, Beautiful Boy, and Lady Bird. Uh, and then we also have Leo Howard from Kicking It and Conan the Barbarian. Uh, if I got to pick someone to play Tim Drake between the two of these, I think I might actually go Timothy Chalamet for this one. I know I said his face shape doesn't really look like it to me, but to me, Leo, ha Leo Howard doesn't really, doesn't really feel like a Tim Drake. He doesn't look much like a Tim Drake. It's still kind of a stretch in my opinion. So I'm going to go with Timothy. All right. Damian Wayne Robin. We have Tenzing Norgay Trainer and Jacob Tremblay. Book of Henry and Predator. Jacob Tremblay looks really smooth, really soft. I'm gonna go with Tenzing because he looks rough. And that is what I want for Damien. Um, uh, Bruce Wayne, young young Batman. This is sick, this is epic. We've got Tyler Hoechlin and Alan Richson. Two physic, like physically jacked individuals who have played superheroes for DC, both of these guys. Tyler Hoechlin's played Supergirl. And Alan Richman has, he's on Titans right now playing a Batman-like character called Hawk. He's super powered, I know. I understand the difference. I'm just trying to simplify it for people who don't know. And then also, um, on Smallville, he played Aquaman. He is great for this role. As much as I like Tyler Hoechlin, Alan, Rich, Alan Richman, if you would dye his hair, he could play Batman so well. Just look at his, both of them have the freaking chin and the jaw for it. But Alan Richman has the personality. For it as well. So Alan Richardson. All right, let's take a look at these lineups. Team number one, John Hamm, Andrew Garfield, Evan Rachel Wood, Charlie Heaton, Timothy Chalamet, Tenzing Norgay Trainer, Tyler Hoechlin. And then for the team two, we have Matt Damon, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Saros Ronan, Dacre Montgomery, Leo Howard, Jacob Tremley, and Alan Richardson. Gosh, dude. Um, I'm going to go, you know what? I'm going to surprise you guys. I'm going to go with team one for this one because John Hamm is great. Andrew would do good. A Evan Rachel Wood would be great. Charlie Heaton would be great. Um, Timothy Chalamet would do good. Uh, Tenzing would be awesome. And Tyler would be great. So that's why I picked that. Let me get a sip of my water, guys. My throat's kind of giving, giving out. All right. We have... Correct underscore rankings underscore fan cast. That's correct rankings fan cast. Welcome to the fan casting summit. We have uh, for Bruce Wayne in the DCEU, we have Pablo Schreiber, Den of Thieves, uh, and Orange is the New Black. And we also have Scott Adkins, Boyka Undisputed, and Doctor Strange. If you guys didn't know, he was in Doctor Strange. Uh, he was one of the henchmen, one of the disciples of um, Kaecilius. Uh, and holy cow. Scott Adkins is perfect for Batman. He's a good actor. Back in the day when he first started, he was a martial artist first and then kind of got into acting and he wasn't that great at acting back in the day. If you see some of his stuff nowadays, he's freaking perfect. He's great. He's a great actor. There's some people out there that haven't seen his work. 
Um, I actually was one of those people where I was like, I don't think he's that great because all I saw was older stuff. And I was like, you know what? Everyone's still saying that. Let me give him a chance. I went back and watched some of his newer stuff. Um, and it's awesome, dude. It's freaking great. He is, he would be Batman. He is Batman. I want to see him as Batman. I don't care where you put him. If it's DCEU, like t Titans. If you want to put him on, you know, like give him his own show on the DC streaming service. Now we're talking specifically about the DCEU. I choose Scott Atkins by a long shot. I don't think Pablo Schreiber even looks like Batman. He's very, very raily, very thin. Um, he kind of looks more like he would play the Joker, honestly. So I'm going to go with Scott Atkins for looks. For physique, for capabilities, we'd get the best fight scenes out of any any Batman we've ever seen ever, including The Dark Knight, which honestly wasn't that great as far as fight scenes. And Ben Affleck, who was the best fight scenes for Batman we ever got, he would be able to triple that, quadruple that. It would be so good. So I, I want Scott Atkins for sure. Stephen R. McQueen, um, The Vampire Diaries and Chicago Fire, and then Garrett Hedlund from Pan and Tron Legacy. I would go with Stephen R. McQueen for this one um, because he would be perfect. He actually campaigned for the role. I mentioned that earlier. I don't need to explain it so much, but I'm going Stephen R. McQueen. Garrett Hedlund would be great also. Also, Not, not a big deal either way. Um, so then for Barbara Gordon, we have Haley Steinfeld and Emma Stone. So between the two of these, it's tough because sometimes I see Emma Stone and I really like her. Sometimes I see Emma Stone and I just can't, I can't stand her, something about her. Um, and it's kind of, I think I'm going to go Haley Steinfeld on this one, actually. So Haley Steinfeld, I'm going to go with for Batgirl, but I expect her to dye her hair. All right, next up we have Jason Todd, Red Hood. We have Taron Egerton, Kingsman, and Rocketman. And we also have Scott Eastwood from Suicide Squad and Pacific Rim Uprising. Now, Scott Eastwood is currently in the DCEU, but they are rebooting the Suicide Squad. Which, to me, means that Scott Eastwood is probably going to be free to do whatever he wants. So, I think Scott Eastwood would be an excellent choice. But, I am also thinking that I would probably still go with Taron Egerton. And I want Taron to dye his hair. I, I want accuracy. No matter who it is, no matter what character it is, I want accuracy. That's what I want. Because um, these guys are comic book characters first and then they enter the movies. And so I would appreciate if they would hold that standard of, of kind of sticking to the source material for these things. I would appreciate that. So then uh, Tim Tim Drake, Red Robin. We have Dylan Minnette, 13 Reasons Why, and Goosebumps. And then Dylan O'Brien, Maze Runner and American Assassin. I love Dylan O'Brien, but I would way rather see him play Nightwing. And I would way, and even I would way rather see him play Red Hood than I would rather see him play Red Robin. Um, so for me, this is Dylan Minnette. And I do think Dylan Minnette is perfect for the role of, of Red Robin. It's not just because Dylan isn't good. I think Dylan Minnette, uh, sorry, they're both Dylan. O'Brien isn't good. I think he is. But Dylan Minnette is great for Red Robin because he's great for Red Robin. And that's why I think he's, he's the pick. So then for this one, Damian Wayne, we have Robin, da David Mazouz. Gotham and the Games Maker, and then also Asa Butterfield from Ender's Game and The Space Between Us. I think between the two of these, I'm going David Mazus by a long shot. Asa Butterfield uh, should definitely play Tim Drake, not Damian Wayne, in my opinion. But let me know if you guys think that Correct Rankings Fancast is correct in their ranking of this fancast. <laughs> I had to say that. All right, Bruce Wayne, Batman. We have Aaron Taylor Johnson. Avengers, Age of Ultron, Godzilla 2014, and then we also have Richard Madden. Look at both of them holding their, what is that, a Golden Globe? Uh, they're both, yeah, the Golden Globe Awards. Both of them holding their award, uh, Game of Thrones, and Bodyguard. Both of them would be really, really good for this role. I would probably take um, Aaron Taylor Johnson for this one. All right, let's take a look at the next list. We have Pablo Schreiber, Steve McQueen, I think I need reading glasses, Haley Steinfeld, Taron Egerton, Dylan Minnette, uh, David Mazuz, Aaron Taylor Johnson. And then we also have for team two, Scott Adkins, Garrett Hedlund, Emma Stone, Scott Eastwood, Dylan O'Brien, Asa Butterfield, and Richard Madden. Now, I like most of the team for team one, but I also like the team for team two a little bit less, except I absolutely do not like, I don't like pa Pablo Schreiber for Batman. I don't like that. Um, what I do love is Scott Adkins for Batman. And I love Garrett Hedlund as Nightwing, and I like Emma Stone as uh, as 
Barbara Gordon, and I like Scott Eastwood for Taryn, and Dylan O'Brien, even though he would be good as Red Robin and be a waste because he should be Nightwing, but, um, and Asa Butterfield, the same thing about him as, as Damian Wayne, he should be uh, Tim Drake, and Richard Madden would do a great job, so I'm going team two because Scott Adkins needs to be Batman. So, I said it, I believe it, I stand by it, you can debate me later. Or, or now in the comments and uh fan fantasy fan cast fantasy underscore fan cast 23 is how to follow him on instagram all right so he has joe manganello from justice league and true blood and john ham baby driver and madman um dude this is so good oh my gosh joe manganello would be a perfect batman he would be so legit but he is in the dcu currently he is Deathstroke. He's playing Slade Wilson. So even though there's no current plans to push that forward, he is actively in the in the DCEU right now. And contractually, he would be obligated to come back and fulfill his contract if they were to make a project. So because of that, John Hamm is, is the only real viable option. And John Hamm, I think, is great to replace Ben Affleck. And he would be awesome. He's on my list. So I would, I would definitely pick him. Next up, we have... Dick Grayson, Nightwing. We have Aaron Taylor Johnson, Avengers Age of Ultron, and Godzilla 2014. And we also have Alden Ehrenreich, Solo and a star from A Star Wars Story, and also Hail Caesar. Alden did a great job in Solo. I thought he was way better than I thought he was going to be, way better than anybody thought he was going to be. Um, and he did, uh, he basically, him and Donald Glover pulled that movie. They did such a good job. And um, Aaron Taylor Johnson, though, looks a lot more like a Nightwing. I'm going Aaron Taylor Johnson. Now, Barbara Gordon Backer, we have Emma Stone, The Amazing Spider-Man, and La La Land, and then Emma Watson, Harry Potter and Beauty and the Beast. This is very interesting. Two Emmas, both redheads, both would be really good for this role. I think the one that looks most like Batgirl, in my opinion, is Emma, Emma Watson. Um, yeah, I would like to see Emma Watson in that role. I'm gonna go with her, but it's really close. It's kind of a coin toss for me. Um, let me know which, you, which one you guys like the most. Jason Todd, Red Hood, Jack, uh, Jake Weary from Animal Kingdom and It Follows, and then Robert Pattinson from Twilight and Remember Me. Robert Pattinson, I think, um, is closer closer uh, to the age of the Nightwing that I was casting, but that's okay. Robert Pattinson, I think, is actually my choice here. I think Robert Pattinson would be the person I would want to play Red Hood. He can play that troubled, shattered, broken spirit. Uh, really really well. I think he would be your guy. So Robert Pattinson dye your hair black and you've got yourself a really savage red hood uh, Dylan Min okay, so next up for uh, this one Tim Drake red Robin Dylan Minnette uh, Would be awesome and Fio and Fionn Whitehead from Dunkirk and the Children Act between the two of these I'm going Dylan Minnette um, Next up we have Damian Wayne Tenzing Norgay trainer from Night Squad and Liv and Maddie. And then we also have Pierce Gagnon, again, from Looper and Extant. I'm going Tenzing Norgay because I don't think Pierce Gagnon would, I don't know if he'll be good in the role. I don't know, I don't think he'll be great in the role. And he doesn't really look the part to me. Tenzing is the guy. Um, now, for Fantasy Fancast 23, we have for Young Batman, Army Hammer and Nicholas Holt. Army Hammer, like I said before, is a little bit too old to play the 20s version, not not back in the 20s, but while he's between 20 and 30 years of age, Nicholas Holt would be your guy. He looks the part, he's got the swag, he's got, like, I mean, so, so does Army Hammer. And I would like to see Army Hammer play Batman, but I'm going Nicholas Holt. All right, let's take a look at these teams. So first up we have Joe Manganiello, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Emma Stone, Jake Weary, Dylan Minnette, Tenzing Norgay Trainer, and Army Hammer. And then we also have John Hamm, Alden Ehrenreich, Emma Watson, Robert Pattinson, Fionn Whitehead, Pierce Gagnon, Nicholas Holt. I am gonna have to go with Team One for this one. Team One has it for me. Uh, and yes, Joe Manganiello would be sick as Batman, but you know, he's already in the DCU. All right, next up we have my man, Comic Man Jake from YouTube and also in their, uh, uh, Instagram. Comic Man Jake, no spaces, no underscores. Uh, welcome to the fan casting summit, my man. Let's check it out. My man, like uh, Aquaman says. So Bradley Cooper, uh, Avengers Endgame and American Sniper. And then Stephen Amell from Arrow. 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles out of the shadows to replace Ben Affleck. Now, Stephen Amell, I think, is a little bit on the younger side to replace Ben Affleck. But he would, of course, do a good job. He based his arrow off of Batman. That was the whole point. That was why people fell in love with the show was because it had such a Dark Knight feel when it first started. And so uh, I think that Stephen Amell would be a great choice. But I'm going to go with Bradley Cooper because he's much closer in age to Ben Affleck. And he... he is taller and he's just he's a big guy he could play the role i think he would be the guy good good choices though man uh next up we have for dick grace and nightwing jared pa jared padalecki supernatural on friday the 13th and ezra miller justice league and fantastic beasts of crimes of grindelwald now i think that jared padalecki would be good in this role but i think ezra miller looks a lot more like dick grayson so if you were to style his hair a little more, grow it out a little bit longer, Ezra Miller would be the guy. Now you'd have to tone back. The, he, you wouldn't want the same feel that he had in, Ju in Justice League. You want him to be a little bit more flirty, a little bit more of a ladies' man instead of like a hyperactive kind of like kind of guy. But he did the hyper thing. I think probably largely because if you're like channeling the Speed Force at all times, you're probably looking like you're an ADD dude without his meds. So. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say Ezra Miller for this one. Next up, Barbara Gorda, Gordon, Batgirl. We have Emma Stone, um, The Amazing Spider-Man, and La La Land, and Sophie Turner. X-Men, Dark Phoenix, and Game of Thrones. Between the two of these, I am going with Sophie Turner. Sophie Turner would be really good in this role. She tends to play very serious roles, so that, I think, might be a drawback, something that Emma Stone would definitely have a strength in. But uh, Sophie Turner, I think I would really like to see her get picked up from the X-Men universe, which is about to drop off, and then have her just join DC. That'd be really cool. So uh, next up, we have Jason Todd, Red Hood, Dylan Minnette. This is, I think, the first time I've seen him cast as Red Hood from Prison Break and 13 Reasons Why, and then Josh Hutcherson, The Hunger Games, and Future Man. I think that I'm going with Josh Hutcherson because he we saw him in The Hunger Games play. There was, oh, for which one it was, like number three or something, number four he's like they they break him in that prison cell they break him and that's the kind of person the portrayal we would need to play the red hood so i'm going with josh hutcherson next up we have tim drake red robin david mazuz and gotham we have the game maker uh uh actor number two we have logan lerman per percy jackson series and fury between the two of these for tim drake I will go Logan Lerman. Uh, David Mazuz would also be a good choice, but I don't think he would be as good as Logan Lerman would. So I'm going to give it to Logan. Next up, we have Damian Wayne, Robin, Max Charles. Uh, Mr. He was in Mr. Peabody and The Amazing Spider-Man. And we also have Finn Wolfhard from Stranger Things and It to play um, uh, to play Damian Wayne. So I, I don't know, dude. Um Finn Wolfhard, the kid from Stranger Things, really good. He's getting a little bit older now. I think Max Charles is probably where I'm gonna go with this one. Um, I'm gonna give him a shot. I know the kid from Stranger Things is really talented, but I just don't see him playing that that role. I don't see him playing Damian Wayne. So I'm gonna give it to the other kid, Max Charles. Um, Bruce Wayne, young Batman uh, from Matt Reeves. We have Jake Abel from I Am Number Four and Mad Max Fury Road. And we also have Gwillem Lee from Bohemian Rhapsody and The Tourist. Now, these guys, <laughs> they look almost identical. Um, I, at first at first glance, I thought it was the same guy. Um, now, I'll say that it, Gwillem Lee, <clears throat> I think for him, uh, he has a much more masculine jaw. So I'm going to go with Gwillem Lee for this one because that's going to be a big a big factor in you know batman if you're going to be seeing him just like from here down or whatever that's what you're going to need to see so i think i'm going to go with this guy willem lee and now let's take a look at the lists we have bradley cooper jared padalecki emma stone dylan minette david mazuse finn wolfhard and um oh I, I think i got the names backwards on the on that one sorry so for team one that's max max charles i i apologize comic man jake and everyone watching um jake abel down at the bottom and then for the second one we have stephen amell ezra miller sophie turner josh hutcherson logan lerman max charles sorry finn wolfhard and gwillem lee so for this one um i am going to go with i'm gonna go with team two 
because there's only like one person on that on that list I would I don't think would be good in that role and it's Matt uh, and it's Finn Wolfhard would not be in my opinion a good choice for Damian Wayne I could be wrong maybe I just haven't seen him play that that kind of a role yet but Max Charles I'm gonna give it to Max Charles so um, yeah that's that's what I'm doing here so yes team two all right fan casting central welcome to the fan casting summit all right we have Victor Webster for Batman uh, from Con Continuum and Mutant X. And then we also have Sam Witwer from Smallville and Supergirl. Hands down, no contest, Sam Witwer. All right. Next, we have Dick Grayson, Nightwing, Finn Whitrock, and American Crime Story, Unbroken. Uh, and then also Cody Christian from Teen Wolf and All American. I like both of these guys for Nightwing, but I'm going to go with Finn Whitrock. Next, let's take a look at Barbara Gordon Batgirl. We have Nikki Reed from Twilight and 13. And we have Kat McNamara from Shadowhunters and The Maze Runner. I am going Kat McNamara. We have Jason Todd, Red Hood, Dylan O'Brien, and then uh, from The Maze Runner and American Assassin, and also Graham Phillips from Blockers and XOXO. It is Dylan O'Brien for me all the way through. Uh, Tim Drake, Red Robin. We have Nathan Kress from iCarly and Tell Me How I Die. And Dylan Schmidt from Once Upon a Time in, 19, in 1922. I'm going to go with Nathan Kress. I'm really glad that you brought him up. He's an actor I haven't seen play anything in a long time. And I would love to see him again. He was great on iCarly. He played um, kind of like the, the little brother that was a little bit more annoying or whatever. But I think he could pull this off. So Tim Drake, Red Robin. I'm going Nathan Kress. And then also Aiden Gallagher, the Umbrella Academy. Nikki, Ricky, Dicky, and Dawn. We have... The second option is Mikhail Gandhi from um, uh, Supreme and Hello. Definitely Aiden Gallagher. Uh, and then last for this one, we have Br uh, Bruce Wayne, the young Batman. We have Tom Bateman from Murder on the Orient Express and Jekyll and Hyde. And we also have Sam Claflin, The Hunger Games and Catching Fire and Adrift. I am going to go with... Mm, this one's tough. Sam Claflin. I'm just gonna I'm gonna call it Sam Claflin. I love Tom Bateman, but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Sam Claflin and have him dye his hair. Uh, tough call. No, you know what? No, 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 no. I'm backtracking. I'm backtracking on you guys. Tom Bateman. I'm going Tom Bateman. I'm calling it. That's what it is. Tom Bateman. All right, both of them really good. So fan casting centrals lists are team one, Victor Webster. We have Finn Whitrock, Nikki Reed, Dylan O'Brien, Nathan Kress, Aiden Gallagher, Tom Bateman. And for team two, we have Sam Whitwer. Cody Christian, Kat McNamara, Graham Phillips, uh, Dylan Schmidt, Mikhail Gandhi, and Sam Claflin. This is tough because the first three on team two are like all stars. I love those guys. But team one all together, I think, is really, really solid. So I'm going team one. All right. Nerdy Blurb TV. Welcome to the Fan Casting Summit, my friend. This is a YouTuber out here on YouTube. He also has an Instagram, Nerdy Blurb TV, or at Nerdy Blurb TV. You can find him on YouTube at Nerdy Space Blurb Splat, uh, Space TV. So find him there. Uh, great guy. I've been on his channel a few times. He's been on mine. Um, Bruce Wayne, older Batman. We have Carl Urban from Dread and Thor Ragnarok. And then we also have Michael Fassbender from 300 and X-Men Dark Phoenix. Between the two of these, I'm going Carl Urban. Carl Urban is an excellent choice for Batman. In Dread, he had he had to tell that whole story with his body language and a helmet that covered him just like this, exactly like Batman. Um, and so I, I I think we've seen plenty of action with him. We've seen him in uh, Lord of the Rings as one of the writers of Rohan. We've seen him in uh, Thor Ragnarok. We've seen him in Star Trek. Um, he's a huge nerd through and through, and he would be great for Batman. So I'm going Carl Urban. Next, we have Dick Grayson, Nightwing. We have Dylan O'Brien, and we also have Taron Egerton. Both of these guys are solid choices, solid choices for Dick Grayson, but I'm going Dylan O'Brien uh, because I would personally prefer to see Taron Egerton as Red Hood. Next up, we have Barbara Gordon, Batgirl. We have Olivia Cook from Ready Player One and Bates Motel, and we also have Natalia Dreyer, or Dyer. Is that it? Dyer? Yeah. Uh, maybe I spelled that wrong. But Stranger Things and Velvet Buzzsaw. I'm going with Natalia Dyer, if that's her name. <laughs> Stranger Things and Velvet Buzzsaw. She was so good in Stranger Things. I didn't see Velvet Buzzsaw, but I think she's she's youthful enough. She's got the look. Um, she needs to get she needs to dye her hair red though. That is important. It doesn't have to be like red like my logo or my page, my thing down here, but it's gotta be it's gotta be red like a normal redhead red or 
um, or even slightly into like comic book red, not like beet red or anything, not like red like my chest, but you know, red. Next up, we got Jason Todd Red Hood, Boyd Holbrook, and Logan Narcos, and then we also have Kit Harrington, Game of Thrones, and How to Train Your Dragon: The Hidden World. Between the two of these, for Jason Todd, I'm going to let me see this guy again. He would be sick. No, but I'm going to go with Kit Harrington. He would be really good. Plus, I'd like to see that guy get a haircut. All right, next up, we got Tim Drake, Red, Red Robin. We have Ryan Potter from Titans and Big Hero 6. And we also have Tyler Posey from Teen Wolf and Truth or Dare. I am going to go with Ryan Potter from Titans and Big Hero 6. Next up, we have Damian Wayne, Robin, Aiden Gallagher, The Umbrella Academy, Nikki, Ricky, Dickie, and Dawn. And we also have David Mezus from Gotham and The Games Maker. As much as I think David uh, uh, David Mezus would be really good for um, uh, Damian Wayne, I think that Aiden Gallagher is your guy. He's just your guy. He already played the role, basically, um, in uh, The Umbrella Academy. So he's already there. So let's just keep that train rolling. Bruce Wayne, young Batman. We have Liam Hemsworth, The Hunger Games and Isn't Romantic, and also Joseph Gordon-Levitt from The Dark Knight Rises and Inception. I am definitely going with Liam Hemsworth. I think he's, I think Joseph Gordon-Levitt is a good actor, but I think he's an overrated actor. Um, I like him. I still like him, but I think that Liam Hemsworth would be great in the role of Batman. Joseph Gordon-Levitt he would be, he would have been a better Nightwing. I think I think Christopher Nolan had it right on the money. He would have been a better Nightwing back then, because um, he's he's a little more slender, a little slimmer. He's got more of that charm, um, and Liam Hemsworth he looks a little bit more rough. I know he's a ladies' man as well, but he looks like he could pull off more rough than Joseph Gordon Levitt, Levitt could. So that's why I'm picking that. So let's take a look at the teams from Nerdy Blurb TV. We've got. Carl Urban, Dylan O'Brien, Olivia Cook, Boyd Holbrook, Ryan Potter, Aiden Gallagher, Liam, Sem Liam Hemsworth. From Team 2, Michael Fassbender, Taryn Egerton, Natalia Dyer, Kit Harrington, Tyler Posey, David Mazous, and Joseph Gordon Levitt. This one is really tough. Um, but I'm going with Team 1. I love Team 1. I think it's great. Both of these options are awesome. Really, really great. Let me know. Everyone, let me know what you think about this one down below in the comments, and we'll have a chat about it. So, Daft Detective, welcome back to the summit, my friend. Let's take a look. Now, I know you did a lot of crazy cool art for this one. So, if you guys notice this one, this particular image was done by a separate artist. Daft Detective, let me know. So, we're going to credit Brian Zapp for this art here. But the one on the other side of Michael Fassbender is Daft Detective. So, if you see that logo, with the, it's like a D with the detective in the middle on the bottom right. That is Daft Detective's logo. So, John Hamm uh, as Batman was not done by... Um, by Daft. I just wanted to clarify this because it's an art piece. We want to give credit where credit is due. So um, Bruce Wayne, older Batman. We have John Hamm from Mad Men and Baby Driver. And then we also have Michael Fassbender, X-Men, Dark Phoenix, and Assassin's Creed. These arts are sick, dude. I love these. Um, I will say, I think that um, between the two of these, I'm probably going to go with I think John Hamm would be a much more direct and better replacement for Ben Affleck. Much more similar, much more similar looking, but Michael Fassbender would be epic to watch as Batman. Um, and he is a little bit younger. So I'm gonna go with John Hamm because of, uh, we're talking about DCEU Batman replacing Ben Affleck. So let's take a look at the next art though. I wanted to show everybody this art. It's the same one, same cast, John Hamm. You can see there, you can see Michael Fassbender on the side. Both really good, really talented. Um, and then those images are really sick too. This one shows all of those arts together. Excellent work. You put in a lot of work for this one, man. Thank you so much for doing that. Really grateful to have you on this one, but I'm going with John Hamm for that. So let's take a look at Dick Grayson Nightwing. We have Finn Whitrock by Daft Detective. This art piece is really cool. You see the sniper on his back. That's, that's a super epic edit. I love that. Um, and then American Crime Story and Unbroken. And then we also have Matthew Daddario from Shadowhunters and Delivery Man. I love both of these. I think this is a really cool edit as well. Um, I think the, I like the, like the electricity on the shock sticks and everything. Uh, his mask's all lit up. That's pretty, that's pretty tight. 
Um, but the uh, Matthew Daddario is my pick between Finn Rock and Matthew Daddario. But I wanted to show you guys the side by sides as well because when you see their faces, you can see this uh, really nicely. I think Matthew Daddario looks looks great. Finn Rock would also be really great. I just like I, Ma I like Matthew Daddario. I think he should get that shot to do that. So these are the art pieces uh, next to images of them. You can see uh, the image of Nightwing. It does look a, l a little bit like Finn Whitrock, and it does look a little bit like uh, Matthew Daddario. In fact, I think that middle image of Nightwing is an exact hybrid of both of their faces, which is pretty cool. So, And uh, what's funny is both of their eyes are uh, un unlevel. <laughs> Finn Whitrock's, uh, his right eye, the eye on the left, fr from our point of view, is a little bit higher. And then the opposite is true of Matthew Daddario. Funny to point out, I know. Anyway, Barbara Gordon, Batgirl. We have Hayden Panettiere um, uh, from Nashville and Heroes, and also Jane Levy on the right uh, in the Oracle seat uh, from Suburgatory and Evil Dead. This is really cool. I want to show you guys the art before I make my selection. I love the art you did here. I like how you um, you put the hair over the over the top middle of the mask. It's really cool. I like that. Um, so you can see Hayden Panettiere. She was in The Flash on CW as well. She was in there during the first season, I think it was, maybe the second, but she was so great. She should have been Iris West. That's what she should have been. She should have been Iris. The chick that plays Iris now doesn't look like Iris at all, um, in any way. And she's not, I don't think she's as good of an actress as this chick is, Hayden Penetier. She should have been um, the uh, Iris West on The Flash CW. And Jane Levy, also great. Uh, I think would also be fantastic. This is really tough for me. But let's take a look at these images and then we can compare. So I think that Jane Levy looks more like Batgirl. Although I really like that you picked Hayden Panettiere. I think she's also great. I would not be upset whatsoever if she got the role. But I'll say Jane Levy is my pick. So next, let's take a look at J uh, Dick Grayson, Nightwing, Matthew Daddario. Again, Matthew Daddario. So he was my Nightwing. Um, if he's going to be here... I want him here. I want him as Red Red Hood. So I'm gonna go back and change my favorite pick from Matthew Daddario for Nightwing to Finn Whitrock. Um, and then I'll let Matthew Daddario take this one because Aaron Taylor Johnson would be great. You did the art for both of these, really solid. Look at those images, dude. They're so sick. Good job, man. Great, great art. Um, Aaron Taylor Johnson, uh, uh, you guys already know where he's from. You already know where Matthew Daddario is from. Let's just take a look at some of these images, man. Oh my gosh, those are sick. I love those. Love how you made the you made his logo a strap on his chest. It's kind of cool. It's like really like uh, tactical looking. It's really nice. So I'm gonna go with definitely Matthew Daddario for this one. I'm gonna change my Nightwing pick to Finn Whitrock. Um, so now let's take a look at Tim Drake, Red Robin. So actor number one, Logan Lerman, Percy Jackson, and Fury. We also have Asa Butterfield, Ender's Game, and The Space Between Us. Um, so let's take a look at these guys. So that this one's Asa Butterfield. I really like this image here. This really shows off how he could look um, as the hero. I like both of these guys greatly, Logan Lerman and Asa Butterfield. It's a trip, man. Between the two of them, I don't even know who I'd pick. Um, I think I think Asa might be more calculating. Shoot, dude. I, I might just pick Asa. I'm going to pick Asa for this one. Jeez, that's tough. But now let's go to Damian Wayne Robin. We see Tenzing Norgay Trainer here in suit. Good job, man. This art is so legit from night squad and live and maddie and then we also have aiden gallagher from uh, umbrella academy nikki ricky diggy and dawn now if we go in and we take a look at some of these art pieces i want to show you guys here um dude in this image tenzing norgay trainer looks more like like damian wayne to me i think that i'm gonna go with i mean i i want aiden gallagher to be damian but in this image, if I'm gonna go off of your fan casting with your images, you you really sold me on this one, dude. Tenzing looks like Damien. I'm gonna go with Tenzing for this one. I know that's inconsistent with every time we've had these comparisons, but the art looks really good. So for yours, I'm gonna do this and go Tenzing. And you can see all the images uh, side by side and everything like that. Um, now, of course, when you see their actual headshots, uh, Aiden Gallagher looks much more like uh, Damian Wayne to me, but 
there the art you did looks fantastic so that's why i picked that and now we're back over to the young batman we have army hammer on the left this is again not by daft detective here this is barrett dot digital so art by barrett digital um and so he did that one and then uh daft detective did the one on the right so we have army hammer from the lone ranger and the man from uncle on the left and then joe dempsey J from game of thrones and deep state on the right so let's take a look at these guys so between the two of these army hammer and joe dempsey i think i'm gonna have to go with army hammer even though he's a little old right so like if we want to be consistent with the age range the time the believability i'd go joe dempsey acting wise if it was unrelated with age i'd probably go army hammer but both of these guys i think is a win for me i love the art here good job uh good job daft detective this looks great all right let's take a look at these uh lineups so team one we have john ham finn whitrock hayden panettiere matthew daddario logan lerman tenzing norgay trainer and army hammer for team two, we have Michael Fassbender, Matthew Daddario, Jane Levy, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Asa Butterfield, Aiden Gallagher, and Joe Dempsey. I genuinely love all of these picks. I love all of these. Um, but I'm gonna go with team one because I want Matthew Daddario in Red Hood. I like Logan Lerman. I like Tenzing. Um, I like Army, uh, Hayden Panettiere, Finn Whitrock, and John Hamm. All of it, all of it's a win. I like these. Let me know what you guys like. These are, this one's so good i like these it's basically a coin toss so anyway good job all right let's take a look at the next one fan casting underscore is underscore dope underscore so fan casting is dope with underscores after each word so first up we have dceu batman john ham and teddy sears from the flash cw 24 legacy this guy is uh really cool i really liked him on the flash i really really liked him on the flash he would be really nice um, to play Batman, but I'm gonna go John Hamm. Next we have, for Nightwing, Zac Efron and Andrew Garfield. I think we had this matchup before. I'm going Zac Efron for sure, 100%. Um, next up, Barbara Gordon. We have Emma Stone and Madeline Pesch. I'm gonna go with, I don't know, Madeline Pesch. I'm gonna go with Madeline Pesch from Riverdale and The Curse of Sleeping Beauty. Um, next up we have Jason Todd, Michael B. Jordan, from Creed and Black Panther and Mateus Ward from Hostages and Murder in the First. So again, uh, race if you're gonna race bend uh, Jason Todd, there are, there are very few people I would prefer to play this role than Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan is a really good actor. When he played Killmonger in Black Panther, he was basically playing a version, kind of like a Marvel-esque version of Jason Todd, where he, you know, through circumstance, he became the monster that he never set out to be, but now he just doesn't want to, he just, he's not going to stop. You have to put this guy down or, you, or you're not going to be able to stop him. Michael B. Jordan could play that role really, really well. It's kind of like the Idris Elba Batman situation with uh, Michael B. Jordan. I don't see, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, John Boyega as, as Red Hood at all. Not at all, but I do see Michael B. Jordan playing him because his work in Creed, his work in Black Panther, you can see that his ability as an emotional actor can really draw out. He could play someone. I would like to see him play someone that's shattered because that's something that we didn't see in Black Panther where he was the bad guy. He was the merciless killer, but he wasn't shattered. He was he was steadfast in his belief. If you if you see someone that is actually torn be, with their own morality, with their own consciousness, with their memories, with everything, uh, someone that is broken, that's something I would like to see him do before that. Now, Matthias Ward, Hostages, Murder in the First, would be really good for this role, but I'm gonna go Michael B. Jordan. All right, Tim Drake, Red Robin. We have Nick Nick Robinson from Love Simon and Jurassic World, and Ryan Potter from Titans and Big Hero Six. I am going to go with Ryan Potter. All right, next we have Damon Wayne, Dave Nazus, Gotham, and the Games Maker. We have Tenzing Norgay Trainer and Night Squad Livin' Maddie. I'm going to go Tenzing Norgay Trainer for this one. Yes, definitely. All right, so next up we have Bruce Wayne, Young Batman. We have Army Hammer again, and Ansel Elgort, Baby Driver, and Billionaire Boys Club. I don't really see Ansel Elgort as someone who is like rough and tough i didn't see baby driver 
So perhaps I'm missing out. You guys can let me know how much I'm missing out about that movie, about Ansel Elgort in the comments. I've only really seen him play like a flirty, fun. He's got a great personality, the guy does, but he doesn't seem like Batman to me. So to me, this feels like a miscast. I'm going to go with Army Hammer on this one. Um, so a lot of great picks here. Let's take a look at team one. John Hamm, Zach Efron, Emma Stone, Michael B. Jordan, Nick Robinson, David Mazuz, and Army Hammer. Team two is Teddy Sears, Andrew Garfield, Madeline Pesh, Mateus Ward, Brian Potter, Tenzing Origa Trainer, and Ansel Elgort. For team, I'm gonna go with team one because I think across the board, everyone is good. At least, at least really good for the role. Maybe not perfect for the role, but really good. And on team two, there's a couple of individuals. I am just not confident about that. So I'm gonna go team one. Just another fan cast account. Welcome to the fan casting summit. This uh, is just dot another dot fan cast dot account. Uh, so you can follow him on Instagram. Bruce Wayne, older Batman. We have DCEU uh, replace Ben Affleck. We have Justin Hartley from Smallville and This Is Us and Anson Mount from Inhumans and Hell on Wheels. I love both of these very, very much, but I'm gonna go with Anson Mount. I think he's got that jaw, he's got the roughness, the gruffness. He could play that so well. I think Justin Hartley would do it well too, but Anson Mount is my pick. For Nightwing, we have two really cool picks. Louis Tan from Iron Fist and Deadpool 2, and Tyler Hoechlin from Supergirl and Teen Wolf. I love Tyler, but I am definitely gonna go with Lewis Tan from Iron Fist and Deadpool 2 because of his, not only just because of his martial arts expertise, but he looks the part. He definitely looks the part. So I could see that. He needs to grow his hair out though. That's one thing that I'm, I won't be cool with a Nightwing that has like a buzzed head. You know, you gotta, you gotta grow it out, man. Look like Nightwing. That's a big deal. All right, so next up, we've got Barbara Gordon, Batgirl, Catherine Langford, 13 Reasons Why, and an unknown role in Avengers Endgame. Uh, and also we have um, Ruby Rose from The Flash, Elseworld CW, and John Wick Chapter Two. She's playing Batwoman on Elseworlds. Now, I will say, Catherine Langford would be good for the role, but I'm gonna go with Ruby Rose. I think Ruby Rose would crush it as Batgirl. So that'd be awesome. All right, next up we have Jason Todd, Red Hood. Uh, actor number one is Michael B. Jordan, and then number two is Brenton Thwaites from Titans and the Giver. So if we're gonna go, and you know, he's playing uh, Nightwing on Titans right now, and I, I love him as Nightwing. I do think he would be able to play, he would definitely be able to play a uh, Jason Todd. So that's a tough one for me, because now we're looking at two people who could play the role, and one of them actually looks like the role. So you know what, I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna go Brenton Thwaites. Um, no, you know what? I'm not going to go Brenton Thwaites because he's on Titans and we're talking about DC EU, which means it's unrealistic for Brenton Thwaites to be uh, any of these guys, really. So I'm going to go with Michael B. Jordan because of availability. All right. So Tim, so for Tim Drake, Red Robin, we have Jake T. Austin, The Wizards of Waverly Place, and The Fosters, and then Ryan Potter, Titans, and Big Hero 6. I love Jake T. Austin. Um, I love him for this role. I think that he would be really, really, really good. I'm going to go Jake T. Austin. I'm going to surprise you guys. Jake T. Austin would be a solid um, uh, Tim Drake. I think he would knock that out of the park. So let's go Let's go with that one. He'd have to lose some weight, though. He'd have to get really chiseled. Um, so Damian Wayne Robin, we're talking Asher Angel from Shazam, which, by the way, is DCEU, and Tenzing Norgay Trainer from Night Squad and Live and Maddie. I love Asher Angel is looking, shaping up to be a really, really solid actor. I can't wait for Shazam. I'm going to see that. I'm going to love, I'm pretty sure I'm going to love it. If it's anything like the marketing, I'm going to love it. Um, Asher Angel would have been a choice, but he's in the DCU already. Tenzing Norgay Trainer. All right. Next for Young Batman, we have Army Hammer and Brett Dalton. This one for me is actually kind of easy. I'm going Brett Dalton. Uh, both of them are a little bit old for the role, but I'm gonna go Brett for sure. Uh, he looks the role, he's got the part. So, team one, Justin Hartley, Lewis Tan, Catherine Langford, Michael B. Jordan, Jake T. Austin, Asher Angel, and Army Hammer. And then team two, we have Anson Mount, Tyler Hoechlin, Ruby Rose, Brenton Thwaites, Ryan Potter, Tenzing Norgay Trainer, and Brett Dalton. Ooh, this one's so, so close. <sighs> All right, I'm going team two. Team two, is it is, I'm going team two. I want Anton Mount, I want Ruby Rose, I want uh, Bretton Thwaites, even though he 
kind of is tied up on Ryan Ryan Potter, Tenzing Norgie trainer, Brett Dalton. All great. Love it. All right, team two for me. What do you guys want to see? Marvelous Fancast. Marvelous.fancast. Thank you. Welcome to the Fancasting Summit. Let's take a look. We have DCEU Ben Affleck uh, replacement, Oscar Isaac, and we also have Luke Evans from The Hobbit, Unexpected Journey, and Beauty and the Beast. I'm going to go Luke Evans on this one uh, because how are you not going to pick Gaston, dude? He's freaking Gaston. All right, Tyler. Next up, we have Dick Grayson, Nightwing. We have Tyler Posey, Teen Wolf, Truth or Dare, and Harrison Osterfield, Chaos Walking, and Catch-22. Uh, Harrison Osterfield does not have a very big acting resume. He's the He became famous because he's the best friend of Tom Holland, and he became a social media icon because he's everywhere with Tom Holland. That's what people know him from. Um, now, as far as Tyler Posey... He actually does have a notable resume, and I think he looks way more like the role. Um, I think I would definitely go Tyler Posey, although it would be kind of cool to see Harrison Osterfield get some notoriety, get a prominent role, and get into a fan into a fan favorite, you know, superhero role as well. I just don't see him as a Nightwing, and I, I haven't seen him in anything that would make me think he could be a Nightwing. So Tyler Posey has it easy for me. Now, we have Catherine Langford, 13 Reasons Why, in that unknown role I keep mentioning from Avengers Endgame. And then also, Catherine McNamara from The Maze Runner and Shadowhunters. Catherine McNamara has my vote on this one. Um, next up, we have Jason Todd. We have Dylan O'Brien and, Bl and Brandon Flynn from Brain Dead and 13 Reasons Why. I am going with Brandon Flynn for this one. Uh, surprising, perhaps, but I, I know Dylan O'Brien would crush it, especially after his work on American Assassin, but Brandon Flynn... I think would be more suited for this and Dylan O'Brien should be a Nightwing I think in my opinion alright Tim Drake we have Ansel Elgort and Ryan Potter now this is a role that I could see Ansel in is Tim Drake more than any of the other more than uh, any of the other Robins but I will still go with Ryan Potter I think Ryan Potter de ha he deserves the role I think he looks more like the role uh, to me it's it's kind of cut and dry that way so I'm going to go that, that direction. Damian Wayne Robin, Aiden Gallagher, uh, and we also have Tenzing Norgay Trainer. We've talked about this one before. I'm going Aiden Gallagher. All right, now we have young Batman, Aaron Taylor Johnson from Kick-Ass and Avengers Age of Ultron, and we also have Nicholas Holt. Uh, this one is very difficult for me. Um, I don't know, dude. I think I'm going to go with Nicholas Holt. I'm going to go with Nicholas Holt. All right, so let's take a look at the teams. Number one, Oscar Isaac, Tyler Posley, Catherine Langford, Dylan O'Brien, Ansel Elgort, Aiden Gallagher, and Aaron Taylor Johnson. After that, we have Luke Evans, uh, Harrison Osterfield, Kat McNamara, Brandon Flynn, Ryan Potter, Tenzing Norgay Trainer, Nicholas Holt. I'm going team two with this one. Uh, the only one on that list that I wasn't really in favor of on team two uh, was uh, Harrison Osterfield, but I'm sure he'd be okay. I'm sure he'd be fine. Kind of a bummer because I do like Tyler Posey, but whatever. Top, team two. Next up, we have Fancast World. Fancast World, we have Michael Fassbender and John Hamm. Between the two of these to replace Ben Affleck in the DCU, I'm going with John Hamm. Um, next up, we have Nightwing, Finn Whitrock, and Dylan O'Brien. Between the two of these, I am going to pick Dylan O'Brien. Um, after that, we have Batgirl. We have Jane Levy and Kat McNamara. I love both of these, by the way. Um, I am going with Kat McNamara. That's what I'm going with. And then also for Jason Todd, Red Hood. This one grinds my gears because they're both fantastic. Dacre Montgomery and Matthew Daddario. I'm going with Matthew Daddario because he's got... Both of these guys have the eyes that look like they could be like really broken. But Matthew Daddario, just, he's the full pack. He looks the part. He's a big dude. He's imposing. Very physically. I think he's 6'3 or something stupid like that. He's crazy. Which is really tall. Um, that's pretty darn tall. So I'm going to go with Matthew Daddario. And uh, Dylan Minnette and Nick Robinson. I am going to go with Dylan Minnette for Tim Drake. Uh, Dil Nick Robinson could do it. But I think Dil Dylan Minnette would do it better. And last, uh, or for this one, we have Damian Wayne, Robin. We have Aiden Gallagher and Tenzing. I choose Aiden every time. Uh, actually, every time except for Daft Detectives because that art was sick. Um, Bruce Wayne, Young Batman, Army Hammer, and Nicholas Holt. 
uh, Nicholas Holt. All right. These are all great picks, by the way. I really like all of these. Um, so I'm going to read them off. Team one, we have Michael Fassbender, Finn Whitrock, Jane Levy, Dacre Montgomery, Dylan Minnette, Aiden Gallagher, and Army Hammer. For team two, we have John Hamm, Dylan O'Brien, Kat McNamara, Matthew Daddario, Nick Robinson, Tenzin Norgay Trainer, and Nicholas Holt. So I'm going to go with team two for this one. Let me know which one you guys want uh, to be uh, DCEU's cast for the Bat Family on this one. User Fancaster18, welcome to the Fancasting Summit. Uh, let's go over your picks. We have first Jensen Ackles from Supernatural and Smallville, and we have Scott Adkins from D Doctor Strange and Savage Dog. Dude, Scott Adkins all day, every day. Uh, Dick Grayson, Nightwing, Stephen R. McQueen, Piranha 3D, and The Vampire Diaries, and then we also have Leo Howard from Conan the Barbarian and GI Joe Rise of the Cob or The Rise of Cobra. And I'm going to go with Stephen R. McQueen all day. Uh, Lindsay Morgan, uh, The 100 and General Hospital versus Kat McNamara from Maze Runner and Shadowhunters. I'm going Kat McNamara um, on this one. Not, I like both of them actually, but I'm going to go with Kat. Next up, oh, this one's sick. So Matthew Daddario from Shadowhunters and Delivery Man and then William Brent from Lab Rats and Elite Force, National Treasure, Book of Secrets. Dude, this is a really cool pick. William Brent looks like he could play... Uh, uh, Jason Todd really well now. I will say I'm still going with Matthew Daddario. Look at those eyes, but William Brent is a great choice um, For this one as well. So good good picks on that one, dude Tim Drake Red Robin Carson Rowland uh, Trico uh, Trico tree. Oh, yeah, Trico tree happy Halloween That's what it is and then also the second option for Tim Drake would be Tanner Buchanan designated survivor in girl meets world between the two of these, I think I'm going to go with Tanner Buchanan. And then for Damian Wayne, we have Tenzing Norgay Trainer and uh, Joshua Rush from Mr. Peabody and Sherman and Andy Mack. I'm going with Tenzing Norgay Trainer. Um, Bruce Wayne, Young Batman, Garrett Headland uh, from Friday Night Lights and Aragon. And we also have Tyler Posey, Teen Wolf and Truth or Dare. For Young Batman, I'm going Garrett Headland all day. All right, so now let's go over the lists Jensen Ankles, Stephen McQueen. Um, Lindsay Morgan, Matthew Daddario, Carson Rowland, Tenzing Norgay Trainer, Garrett Headland. And then for the second, we have Scott Adkins, Leo Howard, Kat McNamara, William Brent, Tanner Buchanan, Joshua Rush, and Tyler Posey. Dude, this is like, this is tough. This is a really tough one. Um, it's so like mixed match from the ones that I, I liked. <clears throat> Let's see. Three, four, five on the bottom that I really like. And then one, two... Uh, three, uh, four, five. It's like five and five that I really like on the top and bottom. This one's kind of a tie for me, really. I don't get to pick a tie, so I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna choose um, number one, team number one, because I do think that. No, screw it. I'm going to team number two. Team number two, Scott Adkins all day. All right, team number two. Let me know what you guys think down below. <laughs> <laughs> that one's basically a tie. I'm just I'm just spitballing for that one for the end of that. Fancast 247. We have Idris Elba for Batman and Anson Mount for Batman as well. Between the two of these guys, I'm going to pick Anson Mount. Idris Elba will do a good job, I'm sure, but I think that there's better roles that Idris Elba could pick. And there's probably less roles that you can get Anson Mount into, honestly. Um and I think that he would be really good for Batman, so I'm gonna choose him for Batman. All right, next we have Dylan O'Brien and Finn Whitrock. I'm going with Dylan O'Brien. Next we have Sophie Turner from X-Men Dark Phoenix and Game of Thrones and Naomi Scott from Aladdin and Power Rangers 2017. Uh, really good choices. I'm going with Sophie Turner. All right, so then we have Michael B. Jordan and Asa Butterfield for Red Hood. I do not think that Asa Butterfield would be good for Red Hood. I'm going Michael B. Jordan. Um, so then Tim Drake, Red Robin, actor number one, and Ryan Potter. Uh, we have him from Titans and Big Hero 6. And we also have David Mazuz from Gotham in the Darkness. I think that Ryan Potter would be way better for Tim Drake than David Mazuz would. Um, so I'm going with Ryan Potter. For Damian Wayne, though, we have Aiden Gallagher and Jack Dylan Grazer from Shazam and it he's uh he's playing the brother um freddy in uh in shazam and i think he would be a really cool pick although 
I don't think he would be great for Damian Wayne. I know that Al Aiden Gallagher will be great for Damian Wayne, so Aiden Gallagher all day. And then uh, Bruce Wayne, young Batman. We have uh, Army Hammer and Penn Badgley. I have not seen Penn Badgley in anything, so I'm going Army Hammer. All right, so these are the lists. Let's check it out. Idris Elba, Dylan O'Brien, Sophie Turner, Michael B. Jordan, Ryan Potter, Aiden Gallagher, and Army Hammer. That whole lineup is a gigantic win. And then also Anson Mount, Finn Wittrock, Naomi Scott, Asa Butterfield, David Mazuz, Jack Dylan Grazer, and Penn Badgley. There's some really unique uh, picks from Team 2 uh, from Red Hood down, but I, I only really liked the picks from Team 2 from 1 through 3, so I'm going to go with Team 1. All the way down the line is really good, in my opinion. Let me know if I'm wrong, in your opinion. So Connors.Fancast, welcome to the Fancasting Summit. We have, first up, Tom Hardy to replace Ben Affleck from The Dark Knight Rises. He played Bane and then also Warrior. And then Oscar Isaac from Star Wars, The Force Awakens, and X-Men Apocalypse. Between the two of these guys, I would pick Oscar Isaac. Dick Grayson, Nightwing. We have Miles Teller, War Dogs, and Bleed for this. And then Timothy Chalamet, Lady Bird, and Interstellar. Between the two of these, I am going to pick Miles Teller. All right, so next up we have Batgirl. We have Anna, Anya, Anya Taylor-Joy from Glass and New Mutants. And then we have Haley Lou Richardson from Five Feet Apart and Split. I am going to go with Haley Lou Richardson. All right, Jason Todd, uh, Red Hood, Ashton Sanders from Captive State and The Equalizer 2, and Jack Loden from Fighting With My Family and Dunkirk. I am definitely going with Jack Loden from Fighting With My Family and Dunkirk. Um, to me, he's much, much better suited for this role. Um, so let's see. Tim Drake, Red Robin. We have Ross Lynch from Austin and Alley and Grapple. And then we also have Alex Wolf from Wel Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle and Patriot's Day. Between the two of these, I'm going with Ross Lynch, and he's, he better dye his hair. All right. So then we have Damian Wayne Robin, Sonny Suljic from The House with the Clock in Its Walls, Mid 90s, and Finn Wolfhard. Uh, from Stranger Things and It. I don't think that Finn Wolfhard looks like Damian Wayne at all. Sonny Suljic does look like he could play uh, a Damian Wayne, so I'm going to go with Sonny Suljic. Uh, and then also Bruce Wayne, Young Batman, actor number one, Robert Pattinson, uh, Twilight Saga, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire for Young Batman, and then also Jake Gyllenhaal, Prisoners and Spider-Man Far From Home. This is tough. If I had my pick, I would go Jake Gyllenhaal. He is with Marvel, though. I'm going to go with, because of actual availability and realis realism to the actual casting, I'm going to go Robert Pattinson, um, who is a good actor. I like I like Robert Pattinson. So um, next, let's read off the list. So Tom Hardy, Miles Teller, Anya Taylor-Joy, Ashton Saunders, uh, Sanders or Saunders, whatever, Ross Lynch, Sonny Suljic, and S Robert Pattinson. Then we have Oscar Isaac, Timothy Chalamet, Haley Lou Richardson, Jack Loden, Alex Wolf, Finn Wolfhard, and Jake Gyllenhaal. This is tough. Hmm. This is really tough. All right, you know what? I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Team Two. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Team Two. Team Two is the one for me. All right. Next, we have Fancast.Force. Welcome to the Fancasting Summit. Let's take a look at your picks. We have John Hamm for Batman and Scott Adkins. Between the two of these, I am going with Scott Adkins. Uh, for Nightwing, we have Dylan O'Brien and Logan Lerman. Between the two of these, I'm going Dylan O'Brien. Uh, next, after this, we have Barbara Gordon Batgirl, Willa Holland from Arrow CW and The OC. And we also have uh, Miley Cyrus from the last song in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. She, if you guys don't know, she is in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. She plays a very small role, but she does have speaking lines. And so she uh, will likely be able to return in some capacity in a future Marvel event. So in that circumstance, Willa Holland is the only choice. And I do think she would be just great. She would be wonderful to play Batgirl. I like this actress. She's great on Arrow, and I think she would be great as Batgirl. Willa Holland. Next, we have Jason Todd. We have uh, Tom Holland from Spider-Man Far From Home in the Current War. Excuse me. And Will Poulter 
from the Maze Runner and the Revenant. Between the two of these, I am going with Tom Holland. I like Tom Holland better. Um, all right, so Tim Drake, Red Robin, Dylan Minnette, 13 Reasons Why, and Goosebumps, and Cameron Bryce, or Cameron, sorry, not Bryce, Boyce, Cameron Boyce from Grown Ups to play Tim Drake um, and The Descendants. I like this this actor. I think he's really good, but I'm going to go Dylan Minnette for Tim Drake because he looks the part. Um, so Damien Wayne, uh, Robin, we have David Mazous from Gotham and the darkness and we also have Jaden Martell from it and the book of Henry between the two of these guys I'm definitely gonna go with David Mazous all right so next we have young Batman we have Finn Whitrock from American Crime Story and Unbroken and then we also have Nick Robinson from Love Simon and Jurassic World I don't think Nick Robinson would be good at all as Batman <laughs> sorry to say but I I do think Finn Whitrock would crush it so Finn Whitrock is my pick all right, let's take a look at the lineup. So we have, for one, we have John Hamm, Dylan O'Brien, Willa Holland, Tom Holland, Dylan Minnette, David Mazuz, and Fit Winrock. I love that entire cast. Um, and then Scott Adkins, I love. Logan Lerman, which is uh, great. Uh, uh, Miley Cyrus, Will Poulter, Cameron Bryce, Jaden Martell, and Nick Robinson. I'm not a huge fan of a lot of the guys on the right, so I'm going to go with team one personally but i do like the casts that you did they're very unique we haven't seen anybody a, a casting lineup quite like the one on the right um so i appreciate your your eye for this this acting because maybe one of these guys will get cast who knows um so anyway all right so now we're getting close to the end i'm gonna skim through very quickly my castings for uh these roles I've done videos for most of these already. I think if not, I've already completed all of these. By the time this thing premieres, all of these should be out. So you guys will have my castings of almost 10 people for each of these roles. But these are just my top twos, all right? So bear with me, I'll skim through these very quickly. The Stuff of Legend, me. I cast Scott Adkins. Uh, by the way, I did the art for all of these, so I'll, maybe I'll give you guys a second so you can look at them. But Scott Adkins from Boycott Undisputed and Legendary and Eric Bana, Hulk and Lone Survivor. I like both of these, obviously they're, they're my own picks. So you can take a look at that. Both of them, I, they're replacing Ben Affleck. So I did Ben Affleck art style for both of these guys. And then for Dick Grayson, Nightwing, we have Robbie Amell on the left, Flash CW when we first met, and then Dylan O'Brien on the right, Maze Runner and American Assassin. Again, I'm not really an artist artist. Um, I just, I mess around. I, I've been trying to improve and whatever. So on the left with Robbie Amell, I just, I literally just drew <laughs> the shoulders. The shoulder thing is pretty weak. Um, but nevertheless, uh, those are my picks for, for Nightwing. And so, uh, Barbara Gordon Backrow, we have Anna Kendrick from The Accountant and A Sil Simple Favor, and then Kat McNamara on the right, uh, Shadowhunters and Maze Runner. Personally, I like Kat better for this, but Anna is also great. And uh, then here for Jason Todd Red Hood, we have Taryn Egerton from Kingsman and, Red, and Robin Hood. And then we also have Matthew Daddario from Shadowhunters and Delivery Man. And you can see I did the art here so that you could see them in their, in their Red Hood costumes, basically, minus the actual hood, because I wanted to see their faces. So that's what they basically look like, um, except for they'd probably be way more beaten up than, than this. But nonetheless, um, that's kind of what they'd look like. So... Tim Drake, Red Robin. We have Logan Lerman from Fury and Percy Jackson, uh, and then Ty Sheridan on the right. So for those of you guys who already know, Disney just bought Fox. The deal officially closed a few days ago, and um, or a couple weeks ago at this point, I think. And um, and Ty Sheridan is going to be available very soon. So him as Tim Drake, I think, is a really, really good pick. Um, and you guys can let me know what you think about that down below. If you guys saw Ready Player One, if you guys saw uh, any of the recent X-Men films where he was in it, that would be really cool. So let me know. And then also we have Damian Wayne Robin. We have Jake T. Austin from Justice League versus Teen Titans and Teen Titans, The Judas Contract. He actually plays Blue Beetle in, in those. So he voices Jaime Reyes um, in those. But I think he would be really good as Robin um, for, for Damian Wayne. And then also, of course, Aiden Gallagher. Now, my art is not super great for Aiden Gallagher. Um, the uh, image... To me, it always kind of looked a little funny, but I thought I'd do it anyway just so you guys could see it. But you guys had plenty of other great art um, from like Daft Detective and everybody. 
um, and then of course boss logic so you guys can see better art than that but I just wanted to give you something a little more consistent with my Jake T Austin art so anyway those are those uh, and now my choices for young Batman are Colin Donald from Arrow CW you guys know him as Tommy Merlin uh, and he's also in Chicago Med and then also Aaron Taylor Johnson from Avengers Age of Ultron and Godzilla 2014 um, now I know Colin Donald is not the youngest guy in the roster but he looks young and that he can get away with so um, I, I would I would probably choose Colin Donald here so here is my lineup so you guys can see it first up we have Scott Adkins Robbie Amell Anna Kendrick Taryn Egerton Logan Lerman Jake T Austin Colin Donald and then for team two, we have Eric Bana, we have Dylan O'Brien, Catherine McNamara, uh, Matthew Daddario, Ty Sheridan, Aiden Gallagher, and Aaron Taylor Johnson. So I want you guys to let me know who you like, team one or team two, which of these castings did you like, did you appreciate, which ones suck, let me know. And uh, let me know uh, what I could have done to make my art better. <laughs> That's also a piece of advice I could use. So anyway. Uh, those are my picks there. But anyway, all right, we are now in the end game, people. So what we went, what we went through now was we all went through together. We all just talked about those castings. We said, hey, that's awesome. I love this guy or that's totally cool or why would you pick that or, you know, whatever. And you guys got to hear me talk about what I thought would be the best picks because I'm the, I'm the host here. But the final results is different. The final results is where all the votes get tallied together from everyone who submitted a fan casting and we're going to count those i already did the counting I've, I've tallied everything up so you can see the final results we're going to determine who is the most wanted actor or actress for each role by by rank of first second and third by most votes and um and then i'll show you guys those as well and that way we can celebrate these we can see who is the most wanted and it's not my opinion it's fact it's how many people voted for how many actors how many times for each role so let's take a look here are the most wanted actors to play the dceu bat family let's get started boom so from boss logic we see this art here the number one most wanted actor to play re the replacement for ben affleck in the dceu is John Hamm. He got eight total votes, which is the highest of all of the uh, the Batman votes for DCEU Batman for the older Batman. And let's take a look at the runners up. So now the runners up are Michael Fassbender with six votes and third place was Scott Adkins with five votes. So this is really awesome. So I love all three of these options. I was saying that all the way throughout. These guys deserve to be Batman. All three of these guys deserve it. And I think that, um, th you know, the numbers kind of speak for themselves. If a lot of, if, if eight people wanted uh, John Hamm for older Batman, then that should say something. If six people wanted Michael Fassbender for the role, that says something. It says that people are looking at them for that role. And also the fact that Boss Logic did an art for this and this ended up being the most wanted also speaks to how powerful and influential uh, fan casting is. How, how powerful and influential art is uh, that boss logic would do an art and now the most wanted person for the role of older batman to replace batman is john ham so that's really cool and of course i love fastbender and scott adkins so that's that's awesome guys if you like that um let us know down in the comments below uh, and give this video a like as well also so next up for uh dick grayson nightwing we have Number one most wanted is Dylan O'Brien. Got 10 votes. 10 votes, guys. There's 29 fan casters. That's including me. Okay? So one third, over one third of everybody voted for Dylan O'Brien to play Nightwing. That's a lot of votes. And so uh, next, and this is my art, by the way. I did the art for this. And then uh, Finn Whitrock, six votes. Uh, he came in second place and then Aaron Taylor Johnson got four votes. So this is really cool You get to see that there's a lot of people out there that are thinking the same way as far as fan casting that certain indiv actors and individuals have proven themselves in the way that a lot of people recognize them to be able and capable to play this kind of a role So that's really cool. I'm really happy that Dylan O'Brien got that because he's my number one pick um, or Robbie Amell and him but Nonetheless, most people want Dylan O'Brien. I think he would be a shoo-in to get the role. 
So let's take a look at next, Batgirl. Number one most wanted is Kat McNamara, Catherine McNamara, nine votes, nine votes total. That's a lot, guys. That's basically one third of everyone in the fan casting summit voted for Kat McNamara. That's a lot of votes, guys. Good job with that. I think she's great for the role and I think a lot of you guys do too. So now Emma Stone, five votes came in second place and uh, also tied for third, Jane Levy had four votes and Olivia Cook had four votes also. So there's a lot of love going around for all these ladies. People want to see these chicks play Batgirl. And I think this is a good choice. I think all of these are really good. And I think Kat McNamara um, is, is a number one top pick right now because she's so well-rounded. And also Emma Stone, of course, and Jane Levy, of course. And Olivia Cook surprised me, but apparently I'm in the minority and a lot of people like Olivia Cook. So that's very good. So let's take a look at the next one. Next up on the list, number one most wanted for Red Hood is Taryn Egerton with nine votes, same as Kat McNamara. And over, basically one third of everybody wanted Taryn Egerton to play uh, Jason Todd. And that's not even including all the people that voted for him to play like Nightwing, for instance, or Young Batman. His name came up a lot. And uh, not just for Red Hood, but this is nine votes specifically for Taryn Egerton to play Jason Todd. And uh, he definitely won that one. He deserves it. I did the art for this one, by the way. And uh, Dacre Montgomery got six votes as the second place runner up. And then Matthew Daddario, my other top pick, got five votes. So I'm really happy with these results. I really like these guys. These guys would be great for the role. And I know you guys obviously think the same way because that's how Most Wanted works is you guys all together, we count the totals and we see what most people want to play these roles. So great, great selection here. I love Taron Egerton. I think he'd be great. Next up, most wanted for Tim Drake is Ryan Potter for Red Robin. And this is an art by Boss Logic. Boss Logic did the art for this. I did not do the art for this. And uh, this is a really cool side-by-side -side image showing him in the Robin suit and then also standing next to him with the hood up, of course. It looks so good. So most wanted actor to play DCU Tim Drake with 11 votes. That is over one third of everybody voted for Ryan Potter to play him. And of course, he went out of his way to campaign for the role when Batman vs Superman was coming out in Justice League. And of course, he was saying that he wanted to be Ben Affleck's Robin. He made an entire video stunt reel. You guys should go check that out. Type in Ryan Potter Robin on YouTube and you will see his epic stunt reel where he does this cool fight scene in like a gym or whatever that he's staged and set up. It's really good. It looks really good. He would be great. I love that. So let's hopefully we'll get that someday. Maybe uh, once I hope Titans doesn't finish for any time soon. I want that to keep going, but maybe they'll allow him to be in both. That'd be really cool and revolutionary. And then the runners up, Logan Lerman with seven votes came in second place and Dylan Minnette in third place with five votes. Super awesome. I love these. These are the guys that I was saying look the most like, uh, like Tim Drake. These three was Ryan Potter, Logan Lerman, and Dylan Minnette. And most of you guys are seeing the same thing as well, not only with their looks, but with their acting ability. So that's great. I think that's something to be celebrated. So let's keep moving. Next up after Ryan Potter, we have... First most wanted, Aiden Gallagher with an overwhelming whopping 16 freaking votes for to play Damian Wayne in the DCEU. This is insane, guys. Like I said, 29 votes. Uh, were, 29 voters are in this summit, right? 29. So 15 and 15 is 30. 16 and 16 is 32. Think about that. More, more than half of everybody voted for this guy. More than half. And you know what's even more surprising than that is the runners up. Tenzing Norgay Trainer got 14 votes. That's just under half of everybody. So Aiden Gallagher, just over half, and Aiden, Tenzing Norgay Trainer, just, just one vote below half of everybody. Actually, I think technically it's kind of, I mean, it's in that weird, you'd have to get like 14.5 to get half. So that's not even possible. So we can we can equally say he got half the votes. And then uh, David Mazus, of course, got six votes, which is also very impressive. Um, six votes is really good too. All three of these guys did oh, would be so good as Robin. I hope that one of these three get the role. That'd be epic. Next, we have the most wanted is Army Hammer. Art by, oh yeah, by the way, sorry, I forgot to mention. This is an art by Boss Logic. I did not do this art. 
And then also, um, this art by Boss Logic. I did not do this art. Most Wanted is Army Hammer with eight votes to play younger Batman, which again, I said doesn't quite line up or make sense. He hasn't been reached out to by Warner Brothers, but maybe they'll see this fan casting. Share this with everybody you know. If you want, if you want Army Hammer to play the younger Batman, you need to let people know. And that's what we're doing here with these fan casting summits is there's a critical time of casting right now where there's so many comic book movies being made that we have an opportunity to have our voice heard. Share this with someone. If you know someone from Warner Brothers, share it with them as well. Tag people from Warner Brothers on Twitter, send it to people. That way, if you want this to happen, you gotta make it known. And then the runners up for young Batman are Aaron Taylor Johnson, six votes. So Army won with eight. So Aaron Taylor Johnson was runner up with six and then Nicholas Holt with five. Super, super cool. I'm really happy with these results. Now, let's take a look at the overall. This is the final results. The most wanted actors to play the Bat family in the DCEU. We have number one, older Batman, John Hamm. Nightwing, Dylan O'Brien. We have Batgirl, Catherine McNamara. Robin Hood, uh, Robin Hood, Red, Red Hood uh, is uh, Taron Egerton. Then Red Robin is Ryan Potter. Robin, which is Damian Wayne, is Aiden Gallagher, and then Matt Reeves, the Batman Army Hammer for Young Batman. That is super epic. And you can see I accredited people where they needed to be credited. So Boss Logic, me, 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 Boss Logic, Boss Logic, Boss Logic. So I only did the three here, Nightwing, Batgirl, Red Hood, um, and the rest are all Boss Logic. So I won't take credit for those, can't do that. That would be lying, and I'm not gonna do that. So these are your results. So anyways, Awesome. Thank you guys so much for sitting through this entire video. Um, before we go, I wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody that was involved in the fan casting summit. But first, let me know in the comments what you think about these results. Would you be happy with these guys as your DCEU Bat family? Um, let me know what you guys think down below. Do you want to see these guys come to life on the big screen? Let's take a look. Fan casting summit number three, I think was an awesome success. I had so much fun being here with you guys. Let's just say thank you so much really quick to Dream Fancast, Fancaster76, Nerds United, Devil of Fancast, Fancast Infinity, Fancast Power, Jax Fancast, Fancasting 10, Fancasting Heroes, Fancast Forever, World of Fancast, Mr. Funcaster, Fancast Frenzy, Dr. Fancast, Correct Rankings Fancast, Fancast, I'm sorry, Fantasy Fancast 23, Comic Man Jake, Fan Casting Central, Nerdy Blurb TV, Daft Detective, Fan Casting is Dope, Just Another Fan Cast Account, Marvelous Fan Cast, Fan Cast World, User Fan Caster 18, Fan Cast 247, sorry about that, Fan Casts 247, Connor's Fan Casts, Fan Cast Force, and myself, The Stuff of Legend. Guys, I can't thank you guys enough for being a part of this summit. I can't thank you enough for contributing to the fan community on Instagram and then here now with me on YouTube. You guys rock, you made this happen. I'm so, so happy to have done this with you guys. Share this with friends. If you guys want these things to come true, if you want these actors to get those roles, let Warner Brothers know. Let DC know, tag them in tweets, share this video, mention the actors, um, do those kinds, of, at the actors, you know what to do. Tell people because then they are going to hopefully see these things and, and cast them. And also let Boss Logic know, because I wanna I wanna give him a shout out. I want people to know his work. He's he's epic, he's great, he's in, an inspiration to me, and uh, he's an inspiration to many of us. And so um, and I think that's clear by the results as well that so many actors that he fan casted ended up being the top top spots. So, anyways, um, let me just go ahead and close out now. Thank you guys so much. Give these guys a follow on Instagram to let them know that they rock. So anyway. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the Fan Casting Summit. You made it all the way through to the end here. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate the likes. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up by clicking the thumbs up button. Also, hit the subscribe button uh, so that you can follow me on this channel. I do a lot of fan castings out here. I do a lot of movie reviews, comments, theories, replies. I do a lot of really cool videos out here that I think you guys will probably be interested in. Even if you're not, I really appreciate you coming out for this one. Turn on notifications so you can be alerted, alerted right away when I go live next time. That way you guys won't miss a thing. And uh, I really appreciate everything that you guys have done here. Leave comments down below because I'm here so that I can have a conversation with you. I want to talk with you about all this nerd jargon. I'm a fan just like you guys. So let me know and let's talk down below. I always talk with you guys in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff 
of legend. Hey guys, Delo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them, and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend, and we have that in common. Also be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video, or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.